What up, Banditos? Tux has your back covering Season 8 Daily to help you milk every bit out of what this game has to offer. And today, I'm going to show you how to take the strongest... I'm going to show you how to take the strongest assault rifle build and make it even better. Let's get to it. Accept it, Division. This is a war you can't win. Sweet dreams are made of Happy Saturday, banditos. Hope all is going well. I'm having a beautiful day over here in Portland, Oregon, in the Northwest United States. And today, today is sort of a continuation of what we were doing the other day. I think that was yesterday's live stream, Friday's live stream, where we were doing the strongest assault rifle builds. Remember that? Okay, so we left off at a really interesting place and we're gonna pick up on where we left off. And I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get into that in just a second. But before we do, First off, if you like what I do and you want to support me and the Division 2 and you want to support the cause, it's really easy to do. All you got to do is hit the like on this live stream and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I really appreciate it. Also, uh, let's just do a sound check. Make sure I'm coming in loud and clear. So if I can get a mic check, uh, some Tux Live going on, uh, that would be great. And I do see some already in the stream, so it sounds like my audio for the music was coming in good. Let's just make sure the mic is coming in all good what else do i got to tell you guys about one also the uh i just launched on thursday the latest classified build it's all new and it's called nightcrawler and it's an absolute blast i'm having a ton of fun with nightcrawler as a matter of fact i ran nightcrawler this morning so if you guys didn't catch me on twitch i live streamed uh this morning on twitch had a really good session, as a matter of fact. So on Twitch to, uh, this morning, we built a brand, well, first of all, we acquired the Savage Wolverine. So to me, the, uh, the Savage Wolverine is all new. I've been delaying getting the Savage Wolverine because of some of the uh, the things you gotta check off your list to get it, which is DARPA Labs. I didn't wanna go over to DARPA Labs. That's why I didn't have my Savage Wolverine. But now I do, and it created a magnificent build and we went through like the full gamut of build concepts on that thing and came up with something really great. But anyway, so I got to use the Nightcrawler to help me get the Savage Wolverine. That was a really good build. As a matter of fact, let me show you the promo on that. Here's a promo for Nightcrawler coming at you right now. All right, so let's see who we got in the chat today. King Slayer's coming in first. What's up, my brother? Batmo Bike, what's going on? Sick Jim, Wayne, what up, brother? Dutchy Dutch, good to see you. Dutchy Dutch, I haven't seen you in a few days. Good to see you back. Welcome, welcome. Lorenzo Hernandez, what's going on? Thank you for showing up. All right, King Slayer's. Uh, what do you got to say here, King Slayer's? Just saying, best way to get into Texas. Oh, yeah, King Slayer's, I was going to say, yeah. The uh, PlayStation clans, uh, usually actually some of them show up in these live streams, the uh, commanders. So when Lati Latina is one of the commanders, so when she's on, she will get you uh, sorted out. So um, so we'll make sure that she hits you up here. Let's see. Oh, on our friend, let's see. Damien, what's going on? Welcome, Axion. Good to see you back again. I think, Axion, you were on my stream this morning. Was that the same? Are you the same Axion? I assume you are, right? Same Axion. I think we were helping me out with that. Um, a Savage Wolverine build, so I appreciate that. Wayne, what's going on? Tux Clan, Tux Live, Daniel Marcao. Fuck it, fuck it's back in the house. Hello <laughs> from Cali, he says. Damien, appreciate the loud and clear, man. 
Kevin Marmol, Damien from Richmond, Virginia. All right, East Jordan, Michigan. Anybody in from the Eastern Bloc in the house? Put out a prayers to those in the Ukraine. Giving them, uh, sending them good vibes to keep fighting the good fight over there. Commander 13, Texas coming in loud and clear. Appreciate that, bro. Okay, so uh, you guys ready to start talking builds? I'm actually really excited about this one. Okay, so uh, this is going to be around the AKM. So remember yesterday, in li yesterday's live stream, that was Thursday, right? Or oh, I'm sorry, was that Saturday or Thursday? I'm getting all my days confused, but whatever day we did the live stream. Okay, so we uh, the last live stream for this uh, build setup, okay, as we did lots of testing and lots of variants uh, came through this build, okay? And uh, so if you wanna check out that, um, then I invite you to do so. The link is in the description area below. Also, uh, for those of you that are in the Players Club, I should have mentioned that uh, for the new build, the Nightcrawler build, the link to that build is in the description area of this live stream as well. So you can just jump on over there when you need to. But also you guys know, you should know that um, if you just go to my YouTube homepage at the top, there's a members only playlist. And so when I put uh, out new content, uh, like classified and secret builds for members, then it's gonna automatically drop there. So you can always just go there when I make an announcement. But either way, links are uh, to everything we're gonna be talking about is in the description area of this build, or of this live stream build video. Cool. So it was Friday afternoon. Thanks, Batman Bike. <laughs> Prime time, what's going on, brother? Maestro, Maestro Siete. King Slayers, yeah, you're welcome, brother. Walk Walker, Texas Ranger. Walker, Texas Ranger. What, Walker, Texas Ranger was... Who was the actor? What's his name again? I'm drawing a blank on his name. Funny, funny, funny guy, though. Uh, Chuck Norris, wasn't it Chuck Norris? <laughs> I'm going to call you Chuck Norris, Walker. Uh, oh, you are the same Axion. You're the same guy from this morning. Cool, cool. Okay, good. So... Okay, so this is this is a this is a really important build set. Okay, guys, it really is. It's an absolute beast. So, okay, so the good news is that I got the right backpack. No, it's not perfectly God world. So just keep that in mind that we're just gonna be just a little bit shy on on true north when it comes to where this uh, uh, build is actually gonna hit. But I did get all the right pieces. So I think it's first. I think it's fair that we show the live stream, to show everybody in chat, everybody who showed up today. Uh, what this build can hit at, okay? So in, in order to get officially be the strongest build in the game, okay, strongest assault rifle build in the game, you have to use the AKM. It's gotta be the AKM, okay? And so uh, the AKM is uh, coming in at 138,000, okay? 0.8. <laughs> and uh, and the assault rifle damage is maxed out health damage. And we got damage to targets out of, to targets out of cover. So that's an important thing. You need that. And then you want to run measured, okay? So uh, we did uh, test and find out and pulled feedback from the community and found out that actually measured, it makes it stronger. Okay, so measured is the talent, the go-to talent, as a matter of fact. All right? And so you need to crit chance this bad boy out like I do. And then I got an extra 20 rounds. Now, this is really important. You have to run the 8x scope to get the strongest assault rifle build in the game, okay? And that's gonna give you 30% more headshot damage. But more importantly, it's gonna proc our chest piece talent, which is focus, all right? So, uh, and this increases total weapon damage for every second that you're in scope, right? So basically, uh, it's gonna give you 50% weapon damage. Now I'm running it with Cheska, as you can see here, and it's all critted out. So, now you wanna run four pieces striker, but you do not wanna run the striker chest piece, okay? The striker chest piece, well, listen, the striker sets giving you weapon handling, rate of fire, and then 25% amp damage, and I got crits all over here, right? Now, if you run the striker chest piece, that's gonna give you another 25% amplified damage. But focus gives you more. So that's why you want focus. So focus only is 50% is uh, base weapon damage, but that ends up equaling more damage output instead of 25% amp damage. So that's why you want focus. Now for the backpack, we're running 
uh again grupo it's all critted out it's not super god world i will eventually do that but it's got vigilance on here and so this this should be really close to top numbers we're gonna be just shy and then everything else has got weapon weapon damage and crit chance and crit damage as you would expect okay now for the skills or whatever so don't worry about the skills right now but i'm running gunner because it's giving me more weapon handling that's important but also 10 percent armor on kill and as you can see we don't have any real uh besides time to kill we don't have any you know armor regen or anything like that on this build all right, so this is officially the strongest assault rifle build in the game, and I'm going to show you why. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it better. So I know we went over this, guys. So this is a review, but I got to set the mark, okay? So this is important to set the mark. I need to show you uh, what this damage is because I'm going to, and then how this gun performs because I'm going to show you. I actually made this better, and I had to farm to do this, and so I got uh, another version, and I'm going to show you in a second, okay? But this builds so first time you have to stay in scope so i'm building up those scope stacks right here but and then we got to build up our striker stack so i'm just gonna uh randomly pound on this chest to get that up and then now i'm gonna start going for the head we should see over 1.79 1.637 let's keep going 1.637 1.637 oh there's our sound welcome back sound so i keep getting 1.637 but i know yesterday we got this at 1.790 so uh what am i missing here so i got there something off crit chance crit chance uh where's my crit chance at 59 oh that might be that might be, maybe we were just a little bit lower Maybe I got too much crit chance on something. Let's see, crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. Where were we at 1.790 yesterday? Well, that's fine, that's fine, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So yesterday we were at 1.7, over 1.7 million, okay? So let me just rack this up again so you can see it. So yesterday we were over at 1.7 million, today we're 1.623, I don't know why, but it's a little bit different, 1.629, okay? So, that's 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 uh that's what we're working with i want to i wanted to get it to show up on the on the number there it is okay so that's what we're working with okay um yeah i do have super 90 shotgun builds man a lot of fun there uh, actually i live streamed that one it was a lot of fun headshot so yeah good question uh Fuggy. so you can run perfect focus if you want to um and that's going to give you 10 percent more weapon damage but i elected to go for basically uh more crit damage so the question comes down to would you rather have 10 percent more weapon damage or would you rather have 50, uh 12 percent more crit hit damage and and the way that works out is because um if we were running um the perfect and i do have the perfect version uh pristine example right so if we were running pristine example it's going to give us marksman rifle damage which is garbage we don't need that but we're going to get instead 10 percent uh, more weapon damage if we're staying in scope the difference is is that you got to ramp up you know to that extra 10 percent weapon damage and it's going to be like going in and out of being procced where crit damage is going to always going to be on our build right it's always going to be on our build but um the other thing is so do you want that extra 10 percent weapon damage or would you rather have 12 percent crit hit damage and crit hit damage tends to work out to be the higher one of the two so that's why but you can go this route uh you just your numbers are just gonna be a little bit different a little bit lower so we so by going more chest so as you can see we we barely got to our number right 159 132 so if you run that then you're gonna lose crit hit chance because you're no longer running cheska right so which is take so you're gonna be at 49 percent crit hit chance so that means you're gonna have to drop your crit hit damage to make up for your crit hit chance and so that's that's why we elected to go with cheska instead of the perfect version but um and it's for the crit hit damage so okay so so let me kick this so what we what we found out is like okay so this is great this is a great build to have the strongest assault rifle build in the game but as you can see, the the one thing with the AKM is it's got quite a kick on it, right? Like it's got quite a kick. And so Striker's helping that a little bit because Striker's giving us that 15% weapon handling, right? 
Okay, but one of the things that we tested and ran on uh, the live stream the other day was we ran this, uh, where did I put it? G36, oh, I put it back in my stash. Let me grab it real quick. We ran this G36, this really interesting G36, and I was sitting on it forever, okay? So let me move it over. So I was sitting on this G36 forever, and I, I it was just a really interesting drop, and it got me going and thinking, but look at it, okay? And we ran this, and we tested this, and it came, and it panned out to be really good. We soloed Legendary with this G36, right? And I was like, it feels pretty good. Now, so this is what's interesting with it, okay? So it has, um, actually, let me just put it in my second slot so we can do a true comparison. So equipping it, okay. So with the G36, and when we tested this, what's interesting is that um, it, it's giving us that nearsighted, right? So 80% stability, that which is amazing for these heavy hitting assault rifles because they got they buck, right? Like a wild boar or donkey, whatever you want to call it. And so nearsighted brings gives it all that stability that it needs. And then we got optimal range. And so the problem is, is that it takes away 35% of optimal range. It really hurts you, it really does. And so um, what we did is, is, as you can see in the mods, is that we put back 10% optimal range on the barrel and then I have optimal range on the attribute. So you're losing damage, right? You're losing damage. You're losing damage targets out of cover. And then you're also losing measured. So that's a lot of damage you're losing, right? But the concept is, is like, well, you know, the AKM, just like we, we, we tested with the AKM in real world scenarios is that you know, it hits really hard, but who? it's sort of like, you know, to some degree, who cares if you're missing all your bullets? What's, what's you know, your DPS is zero if you can't, if, you're let, if half your mag is, you know, uh, on a bullet that doesn't land its target, right? Like, it's, uh, it's, it's so, like, if half your mag is going into the air, then, like, then, then who cares how strong your assault rifle is, right? It's like all the damage that you gain by picking up this heavy assault rifle is lost do all do all your missed shots right and so that's the concept and so we tested this and it was like wow this thing is an absolute laser beam and let me show you right so here's the g36 i mean it absolutely doesn't move there's a little left to right and that's accuracy not stability right but look at it there's no bounce okay i was like this is absolutely amazing this is absolutely amazing right we have the, our, we have no loss in optimal range, but we have 80% more stability. We're maxed on the stability. Now, the I said it, the reason why, uh, so even though it performed really well, I was like, yeah, but it sort of still ends up being so-so. And the reason why is because um, we're running, uh, It's sort of, the G36 is sort of a middle of the road. Um, what up, Jayco? Notion of death. Uh, appreciate that, man. And so the 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 military G36 is sort of the a middle of the road assault rifle, right? Like it's not the highest, it's not the lowest, it's kind of in the middle. And so and so that's the only reason why I said I was after testing this, I said, you know what? The black the AKM would be an absolute beast with this setup. Okay? So we we've tested it this way, and it's obviously the strongest this way. But if again, if you're missing all of your shots, who gives a crap? <laughs> right and so with the military so putting this military g36 setup with optimal range and nearsighted together and then equipping that on the akm then you know i was like well the akm makes more sense because look at the base weapon damage okay the akm has almost 140 versus 110 140 versus 110 so losing some of that really high base weapon damage is absolutely acceptable if you're landing your uh, in exchange to land more shots it's absolutely acceptable and so folks that's what i am bringing you today i got the akm with optimal range and nearsighted here it is right so uh, so no it's not god rolled granted it's not god rolled so keep that in mind but good enough good enough for what we're gonna do today so 138,000 total uh damage i got 21.5 percent optimal range and 80%, so we're gonna gain 80% stability. Look at the stability on the AKM, right? It's maxed out. Now let's look at the mods. So I think, so I got the 10% optimal range, right? Crit hit chance, reload speed, and then we got our 30% headshot damage. Okay, check this out. <laughs> There's no recoil on the AKM, the strongest AKM in the game. I mean, the strongest assault rifle in the game, right? No recoil. Look at those crits, guys. 
1.242 and it's a laser beam. Yes, it's not 1.69, 6 million, whatever we were at before, right? We've dropped, we dropped basically 300,000 uh, per crit, but we are able to laser beam on the forehead of our opponents. It's an absolute acceptable loss. Absolutely acceptable. Loving it all day. Now, the other weapon that we uh, retested yesterday too that I really fell in love with the setup was uh, the military P416 with measured on this build, okay? So this is the competition. So here's the military uh, uh, P416. This is your competition because it's an absolute lazy broom too. And since it's got its damage talents, it almost achieves the same uh, peak, maybe even a little bit more. Look at that, 1.294. So it's actually outperforming. So it's also a laser beam, right? Now the difference is, is that the AKM is gonna have uh, more consistent damage because it doesn't need measure to get all the way up there, right? So measure is on, uh, it gets stronger the more you pull through your mag, right? And so where the AKM is getting 1.2 uh, something million on every crit, where the P416, you gotta reach the back half of the mag in order to get those numbers. So. So when it comes to which is technically stronger, so even though it looks like the military P416 is going to be stronger, and it's actually gonna be a close race because it, it does crit higher, the truth is the AKM is gonna have more consistent damage, right? So if we switch over the AKM from the first crit to the last crit, you know, granted, we still gotta ramp, ramp, ramp up strikers and, and focus, but that aside, from the first crit to the last crit on the weapon itself, because it's all base weapon damage that we're doing, you know, we're going to reach that 2.1.242. Looks like that's where we're at. So really close between the two. But in the end, if you were playing a whole mission, the AKM is going to outperform the P416 because it doesn't have to ramp up. It just, it's every crit. Once you, uh, all other procs aside, every crit coming out of the gun is going to be 1.242. Laser beams. So... What do you guys think? Is that absolutely amazing? Because I think it is. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go, uh, we're gonna go head over and give this thing uh, a whirl. Uh, I'm glad we found it. Uh, we got lucky. So in case you guys are wondering, uh, assault rifles are right here in this zone. What do you, what do we call this zone? Downtown East. So yeah, so this is where I was spending all my day today. I was playing these control points. Um, had some help from Parker Fly. So thanks for Parker for farming with me today. Appreciate that. So yeah 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 so uh let's see who else tardy uh turtle 1973 what's going on sticks and stones good uh, welcome to the stream man yeah you guys got to try this one this one's no doubt and i'm actually going to create an assault rifle build video for this but they're probably going to be two different videos because they're really two different concepts okay so one of them is the strongest assault rifle build in the game so i'll do a build video just on that flat out this is the strongest assault rifle build in the game love it or hate it right now if you don't like uh, the AKM, if that's not your cup of tea, then what I said yesterday or in the live stream yesterday or the day before, whatever it was, I can't, still can't remember, then um, I definitely want to, uh, I'm going to point you to the P416. It's an absolute beast. Totally worth it, the P416. And then, uh, but this AKM, really interesting setup. Now, it's not perfectly God World, so we're get, we should be able to squeeze more, squeeze more damage out of it when we, when we have it all the way up. Maybe 1.3 million. But we, we're okay with 1.2. So I do have a carbine. Um, unfortunately, it's not perfect. And I know, uh, yeah, Batmobike says, I, I see you found yourself a carbine. That's for sure I did. But you know what? They I got three carbines today. They, all three of them came with overflowing. All three of them. What's up with that? And what's up, Armand? <laughs> what's going on, man? Tux Live. Appreciate that, man. Good call, Batman Bike. The difference might have been that other headshot attribute. You're probably right. You're probably right. That's why we were probably over. So, CD Stanley, what's going on, man? God, you made this one. Diego Camino, que paso? Dark Moore in the house. What up, brother? So, okay, so we're gonna. So the thing with the. So that's the thing with the carbine. So with the carbine, I can make the same build, but again. I don't think it's a good idea because it's gonna give, give us the same results as the uh, the military G36. Look at them, they're really close. I mean, it's got a higher RPM and a lower base weapon damage. So 
it's already got really good handling look at the stability on the on the on the um, carbine 7 so you know i really don't think we need more stability so it's just kind of like so i would rather with the carbine 7 i think you're better off running measured you know uh so the problem if i put measured on here i'm stuck with optimal range where i would rather have damage targets out of cover so it's not the perfect assault rifle version for me oh i'm sorry i'm on the small screen so it's not the perfect assault rifle for me you know what i mean it looks nice it's pretty because it's almost god rolled but it's the optimal range that's, that's making it unperfect i'd rather not have optimal range but we'll go farm more assault rifles today the other build that i got on uh, deck for us is actually a nemesis build so I want to see what you guys think of that. Now, I'm normally a, uh, a Mantis guy. I'm, I'm a Mantis guy myself, but. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up a decoy turret. Just, you know, it's my standard test setup here. So I'm not looking for any damage out of the turret. It's just um, decoy. So, okay, so same build. So again, we're running this version, but I better... Um, Put on a different variant so let me put on my shotgun as the other variant uh try not to have two assault rifles in case i run out run out of ammo okay so there we go okay so putting back on so here's the akm with uh near sighted cool all right let's go let's party get ready to party <laughs> all right so district union arena legendary solo uh, we're gonna do the right shield glitch here. That's why I'm running the shield in case you're wondering uh, It gives you a better field of view to the right and you stay behind cover when you're using it Laser beams laser beams. Oh, I also oh god that guy just launched a grenade in my face. That sucks Get rid of him This thing is super steady. Oh, I should also mention that I I actually changed my uh, adjusted my uh, aim sensitivity uh, today uh, and it really paid off guys I made a small change to my aim sensitivity and I really and it really paid off uh, so if you if you guys are council players I'll show you what my settings are but uh, it made a big difference it allows me to track my targets better so it didn't do so much for acquiring targets I mean I it is what it is good still good good before good now but what it really did is it allows me to track my targets better without overcorrecting. So here's our DPS check. Oh, I just, he lobbed his perfect grenade at me. Let me get a... So I'm come to us. Oh my gosh, guys, it feels so good. I mean, it feels like I got all sorts of crazy computer-assisted aiming here. I don't, though. It's just, just that stability is just absolutely amazing. We need to take out those drone operators. Where they at? Where they run off to? Oh, I got smoked by something. I don't know what. It feels really good, though, guys. Feels really good. What do you think? Focus on that. What's going on, Black John Wick? Uh, is it the only D D Dwayne Robinson? Is that true, guys? Is it? Am I? No matter how much I farm, am I always gonna get the carbine with with overflow? I mean, it's it's not just a funny coincidence. Ag, I think you're gonna be better off with. Um, I usually go strain too. I usually go strain too, but doing our testing. It turns out that, um, I mean, if you want to go, like, if you're into, like, being the hardest, uh, strongest version of whatever, it turns out that measured puts out more damage. It turns out. Uh, see, I have the strained one, too. You see my strain here on the AKM? So I got AKM strained, AKM measured. And we tested both, and, and it turns out that measured uh, comes out uh, to lo uh, stronger. More damage. Wyatt, what's up, buddy? Raw Rowdy, what's going on, brother? Welcome. So, uh, so that's the thing, huh? So the carbine never come, drops with anything else. It's always going to be overflow. So, okay, well, that's interesting. 
All right, let's do this. Let's do a better job than I did last time. It wasn't bad, it was just funky. We got hit by a grenade we shouldn't have. That's actually what happened. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's, I mean, just follow the reticule. That's all what I'm saying. Follow the reticule. I mean, look at that thing. No bounce. No bounce. Strongest assault rifle in the game. This is the AKM, guys. This is it's it's steadier than the police M4. It's it's strong. It's steady as the uh, CTAR. Not as fast, but steady. Let me get rid of these grenades before they give me one of their grenades. I mean, look at that. It's making this really easy. Granted, I just died a minute ago. <laughs> But I mean, like, my ammo efficiency. Look at my ammo efficiency. I'm landing all these shots. You know what I mean? So I use the ammo as a gauge on, on how well I'm doing, like, damage and accuracy-wise. Let's get this out. So I use my ammo. Because if, if you're low on ammo, then that, that, can, that can mean... doesn't always mean, but it can mean that you're not putting out enough damage or... We need to find these turret ladies. Where'd they go? I mean, these drone operators. There's one. You're gonna pop me out of cover. Oh my god, again, the same thing. Oh, that's bullshit. That's pissing me off, guys. I'm determined. That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, we got this. Yeah, AG, I think you're gonna like it better, man. I was, I was being on strain too. I was, I put strain on everything, you know. And I think that, um, uh, probably on every weapon type, it's gonna make sense to go. I'm gonna check out the SMG side too, though. I have, I gotta test on the SMG if that's still gonna be the case. But assault rifles, yep. Come on, dude. Come here. There we go. I mean, guys, you got to do this to your AKM. You find this AKM with optimal range already on it and then put on this talent. These guys just don't have a chance. This assault rifle is just too strong on, all on its own. I mean, you, and then we got Striker. We got those. Now you don't have, no you don't have to run this this, this exact build. I mean so you like for heroic content, you know, you don't need to be this strong, right? Like you could you could you could tone it down a little bit. <laughs> so you know you don't have to run for example, you don't have to run the 8x scope and uh you could go uh put on the chest piece. The striker chest piece instead. So strong you could both Drones out of the sky. I mean, so steady we can blow uh, drones out of the sky. That's saying something, too, by the way. The fact that you can land those. They're pretty hard to take out in uh, Legendary. I know we got a drone operator out there somewhere. There she is. Two of them. I think there's two of them. There's one. Got it. Amazing, guys. That's it. Look at that ammo. That's healthy. That's a good place to be. Really good place to be. Oh, there's a tank trying to get busy with us. Get rid of it. My two targets are actually the snipers. I'm not worried about the chungus.
Come on, guys. Come and play. Come play with me. They're all hiding. All the way in the back. There's a, um, the tank's still alive, so I can't go chase them down. They make me do this. See that? It's a trap, guys. It's always a trap, but they make you do this. So you know. They do just to piss you off. This is a trap, and I'm falling for it. <laughs> I'm falling for the drop. There it is. Got it. Lazy tank, blow up! There it is. Ooh, status effects. Let's see, Empress. We gotta collect our gear, right? So, crit chance, status effects. Unbreakable, no. There's chest pieces here, so it's a good day to be farming this. Petra, Caesar's Guard, maybe. So, yeah, so here's the setup, guys, again. Uh, so we're at 55, 132, 105% headshot damage. Uh, and then the build's pretty straightforward. We're critted out, four piece striker, right? Four piece striker, four piece striker, four piece striker. And then focus, and then on the backpack we got vigilance, and we're critted out everywhere. Not all the way God rolled, but we're close. All right, let's just. Uh, what's up, Ice Yamamoto Elite Panda? What's going on? It says run Regulus with Douglas and Chess and the Headhunter. Oh yeah, yo, yeah, we've done that, bud. Appreciate the 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 tip though. I call it the Blitz build because uh, it's really good for uh, speed running. Speed running, a lot of fun. Good reco. I don't have a good. I've been running it with um, a Providence chess piece though. Um, but yeah, totally know why we'd run it with Douglas and Harding. It's just I don't have a good Douglas and Harding. Oh, I got my turret still out here. Let me bust that. Yeah, it's actually a really fun build. Uh, Elite Panda. I've been using it to um, to speed run. So I used it for all of the uh, the league events. And then I also used it, been using it to speed run Lincoln Memorial too. Pretty fun to use it there. Really good build. The only, not everybody has the Regulus, unfortunately. But you guys should, man. That's a really good Warrior Cowboy. What's going on, man? Okay, here we go, guys. So yesterday we cleared this really fast uh, with the P416. It was actually quite amazing. So let's see how well we do here. Got the medic. Taking out medic's pretty key. Oh, it's got that healer station guy out. There's another healer station guy. Come on, let me get him. Show them pearly whites. See, I should have got them before they got the healer. That one healing station is giving us all this trouble. The elite healing station. Because we killed the other guys, but it's that elite healing station that dropped. He's slowing us down. There we go. Medic down. It's just this elite left. Actually, I'm going to leave him alive. I can make sure I have enough ammo for those chungas. All right, this is good. So you could, so here's a trick, guys. Like you could put your turret up on this TV, on all the TVs technically. See that? I can just get my angle right. 
Just get out of cover. Ah! Why am I feeling so, like, st stuck? There. Jesus. There you go. Alright, here come the chungas. Let's slay some chungas, ladies and gents. What do you think? Down? We want to get the healing station guys first, actually. They're my priority targets. He ran back. The healing station guy ran back. The purple one is who I gotta get. One chug it down. Oh, you got behind. Getting frisky. Woo! Pulled an angle on me. That was close. We almost had it. We almost had it. We almost had them before they made the rounds. Get my, let me get my turret out there so I can get a distraction. There it is. All right, it wasn't too bad. I don't know. I think it was just I could have played it a little bit better, but nothing gets the weapon. Uh, there's Badger Tough, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. Cool, so that's 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 it, boys, ladies and gents. I mean that's what we got. That's for this for this particular setup. So Good job. Congrats, Warrior Cowboy. Warrior Cowboy, congrats, man. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> congrats. It's a big deal. Yeah, I saw my motto. Oh, you're almost done with your, uh, with your regular quest. Good job. Yeah, so here's my armor. Uh, so this is three rack mistress. I think you're asking for the armor. Um, so yeah, we got 726, so basically no armor. This is no armor on this build, but here's the, I'll show you the defense. Yeah, no armor. You got 10% armor on kill. Yeah, so kind of the idea is like, you know, you got so much offense that you don't need a defense. So uh, let's just check this uh, crate up here, see if there's any goodies and then I'm probably gonna switch over to my next build, unless you guys want to see something more on this one. You got it? You got it? <laughs> so it's all about taking uh, the four-piece striker uh, build that we ran and putting nearsighted and optimal range. Nearsighted and optimal range. Now, I think, you know, again, I tried it on the other, the G36, but I think you gotta be, um, well, that's actually an interesting one. I think you gotta be pretty high in damage. You know what I mean? And so I, there's not much. So like the AKM makes, I think it might be the only weapon that it makes sense to do this. It's a very unique configuration. Okay. It's a very unique configuration. I, I don't think I'm just off the top of my head. I don't think any of the other ones are going to make any sense to do it this way. Um, so we got the optimal range mod on the, on the muzzle. And then we got optimal range on the attribute and nearsighted, which, you know, but so we losing, you know, uh, damage to targets out of cover. We're losing measured or strained, whatever you go with there. So, but the reason why it works is because the weapon has such a high base weapon damage. It's okay to lose that damage. Just, we're still putting out almost 1.3 million per crit. You know what I mean? So I'm probably just going to dump that. So that's, that's, that's why this works. So for the next build I want to showcase, unless you guys are, uh, have any questions about this one, but I'm, I'm ready to move on to the next ones. Joaquin Chacon is back. 
Hey, Jayco, um, if you if you hear me or Latina Knight, was it Knight Rider or Knight? Uh, he was looking for uh, help getting associated with one of the Tux uh, PlayStation clans. Uh, Kingslayer, sorry. Kingslayer 187. So if uh, Latina or Jayco, if you could reach out to Kingslayer 187, he's in the chat. He was interested in connecting uh, to get affiliated with the PlayStation clan. So Mike and Mike. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, the, the other build I wanted to, to play with is the Nemesis today. So I've been working on a Nemesis. So, so I'm a... Um, Let's say I head over here. So I'm normally a, I guess, how would you call me? A mantis guy. <laughs> I'm a mantis man. So I'm a mantis man. And so uh, I thought to be fair, we should probably give some time to the nemesis. And so um, that's what I'm doing here. Now, the only thing is, um, you know, I'm not, you know, there's a tip of spear, uh, uh, a version that you can run of this um but i don't have any tip of spear pieces you know so that's the that's the downside so i'm not able to test tip of spear but has anybody run a tip of spear nemesis build lately do you like it what are your damage numbers if you can let me know that'd be really helpful uh jay yeggs i don't understand your question can you go over the blue and chest uh the build and chest the blue do you mean the build and chest for this the assault rifle build i'm not sure so um this is the this is the nemesis build so this isn't uh different two different than my mantis build it's um it's almost the same so you can run this uh, a couple of different ways the damages are going to basically be the same so you can run ace uh, four piece aces if you want to okay and then you can run the the whole dead man's hand thing that's going to give you 30% amp damage on the next shot after you land so many shots, right? I found that even with that, I was I was clocking in at about 59 million. Give or take. And I was getting basically the same with the Sawyer's knee pads, right? So it's kind of all the same when you're at 50. When you're at 50 million, it's all the same, right? So 59 million, 58 million, 59.5, whatever, right? Doesn't really matter. So... I'm running aces. Um, oops, I shouldn't have crit chance. So uh, I, I did try it with crit chance and I, you know, with getting our crits up and stuff like that earlier. And it just, it just was, it was kind of like a waste. I felt like running um, crit chance on it. So, um, but you can, you can. It's just, it was just felt like a waste because we're all, we're always going for headshot. So headshot, headshot damage, weapon damage. And I'm running. Uh, three pieces of aces, so I'm getting that 15% maximum rifle damage and 30% headshot damage. So here's my second piece of aces. And then here's my third piece of aces. Okay. Again, the Sawyer's knee pad. So this is giving us that uh, stand your ground, so you can't be staggered by explosions. But more importantly, we get that 30% weapon damage on top of an armor core. So it's a defense offense thing that I'm after. You know, you do have to hold your ground, but with the Nemesis, is not a run and gun build. So whatever so i'm running marksman rifle the arrow backpack uh for more uh, uh marksman rifle damage and then you know weapon handling headshot damage and then i got vigilance and so vigilance can be taken down if you get shot but we don't care because uh we're running headhunter and headhunter takes over anyways once you proc it so um without a headhunter you're going to be hitting probably between like 18 and 25 million somewhere in that range so, uh, you know, if you try to go with focus, perfect focus and all that. So I tried perfect focus. It was hitting way too low. It's just like focus is made for like the SVD or something like that. You know what I mean? So I think you're better off with a headhunter. It just makes a lot more sense. Unless you're going PVP. If you're going PVP, then you want to go focus. Or you can go uh, pristine example. Not pristine example. Uh, sacrifice. So, um, so either way. But I saw so, uh, Headhunter makes the most sense for me here. And so this is my Providence piece. And so, um, and of course I'm running the Nemesis and this is just pure weapon damage thing. That's all it is, right? You gotta, you gotta charge it up. And then um, I'm running Sharpshooter. And then I have um, my, for stats, I have 316% headshot damage. 
And then for uh, weapon, so I got 21% uh, weapon handling rolled onto this build also. So keep that in mind. Um, and then for, I should show you my settings because I did adjust my settings and I think that's be interesting to some of you guys because it, it really changed, helped me. Now I haven't tested it a lot on snipers, but um, I did test it a lot in the assault rifle builds and I was doing a headshot, headshot assault rifle builds today. So uh, before I was at default, which was at 10. And so I lowered my aim sensitivity to eight. So I dropped it down to two spots. So that's good. So I so I'm, I could change the scope sensitivity as well, but um, you know, so right now uh, I don't want to do that just because it's gonna make too many changes. So right now my aim aim sensitivity is eight. So I gotta play with this for a while. Once I get used to it, I'll then I'll start uh, teasing around with camera sensitivity and scope versions, but. Like when you're making changes, guys, I recommend that you make small changes. Otherwise, you can tweak it too far to the left and then go too far to the right and too far to the left, too far to the right, so on and so forth. So you need to know which change is working for you, which one isn't. And so if you make too many changes to do to different uh, elements, then you're going to have a hard time figuring out what, what what's not working and what's working for you. Yeah, that's cool, Mr. Rob. You know, if you just want to kick it with the clan, you know, people, and you just go to our Discord, man. That's the spot. You don't have to hang. You don't have to join the clans to, to play with us. So we could play from in here. So the, the thing is, is though you so you got to stay scoped in a lot, right? So that's the downside of this thing, you know. So um, keep that in mind. So like, so we got all elites here. Um, and so, you know, I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on this on this weapon? I mean, what are you guys' thoughts? Um, scope assist. So Elite Panda, let's see what Elite uses. So he says, uh, play on 20, 20. Scope is 6. Fields are both 25. Field are, field are both 25. Field of view. Scope is 6, huh? You play on 20, like, like 20 sensitivity and all that shit is what you're saying? Wow. Like really sensitive, is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's crazy if you do that. It's crazy high. Okay, so what we want to do is, you know, we're gonna have to kick this off. Um, and so I'm gonna try to take out the, the one that I think is gonna go for the turret because of that person's annoying. So we're fully charged there. We took out an elite uh, for that full, first round, so that's a good sign, right? Second one. So, I mean, it does the job, right? So the downside, though, is you do have to kind of spend a lot of time out of cover. <laughs> and, you know, that makes you pretty vulnerable, right? And you can get faster with this thing, too. I'm just kind of getting warmed up, so... I'm actually not a pro with this assault right? I mean, this uh, sniper. I'm just not... Like, I am with the Mantis. Like, with the Mantis, I'm fucking surgical. You know what I mean? Like, but with this one, the whole charging thing is just kind of like, eh. You know? Like, I, I'm hanging out of, I hang out of cover. And I know, like, PC people can get really good with this. You know? Oh, I missed him. Oh, my God. How did I miss that? I was right on. So now I'm on a cold streak. I was on a hot streak and now I'm on a cold streak, All right? So with the changes in my aim sensitivity, I'm finding that I can take out targets that are, are hidden better. You know, where there's just like a tiny little bit of their head poking out. Those targets are becoming easier for me to mark. So I guess, you know, the power, I got more power, sure. But also what I what I have noticed is that um, I'm just a slower assassin. You know what I mean? So there's the boss, one shot at the boss. But I can do that with the Mantis too. So I'm sort of not super, what do you guys think? I mean, I just feel like I'm not, I don't, I, besides that first kill, you know, the fact that we got our first kill taken out um, without having to build up to it, you know, so we took out an elite with our, 
as our first kill where um with the mantis you usually have to start out with a, like a, a non-elite and then work your way up to elites you know what i mean that's a big difference but with the mantis you can you can take out an elite not everyone there's some elites that are really tanky right but anyway so we're looking for a carbine guys so if you see a good carbine laying around let me know because <laughs> i want to i want to uh there's a lot of people that were asking for a carbine test and i wasn't able to comply because i didn't have a good carbine so uh let's find a good so you got to find a good nest with this thing too right because you're just in scope for so long that you know you got to have a good nest Oh shit, we're gonna get flanked, of course. Detecting additional hostile contacts. So as you see, get better at this thing, or worse. I mean, I would like a sniper build that can break through helmets and kill at the same time. Okay, she's just getting on my nerves. Where is my backup? I have to break my nest. Get away from me, you psychos! Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed by these ladies. I know. Yep. <laughs> Just ridiculous. And that, my friends, is the problem with the, the nemesis. <laughs> it really is. Like even with my mat, with my um. With my, I, I'm gonna grab it. With my a mantis, I'd be able to hit him center mass, just because it's fast. It's fast. No charging up required. The charging up thing is what kind of like screws you up, and you don't need to be full charged, but you still have to be somewhat charged. Okay, so let me grab. You gotta learn your headshots, man, Mr. Rob. You gotta learn your headshots. You just gotta practice. You just gotta do it. You know. The nemesis, the mantis is really is very forgiving, I think. Um, so I'm gonna stick with the nemesis right now, but I do pull out the mantis so you can we'll be able to see the difference. But uh, I really like the mantis. Like actually, it's one of my favorite guns in the game, favorite weapon in the game, for sure. I can quick scope with it. I can I can uh, point blank snipe with it. You know what I mean? It's just faster. It's faster, and that uh, that it, that counts for a lot in this game. Speed does, right? So this was nice though because of that, right? We just took out an elite in our first shot. So that's three for three headshots. So that's good news. So you can land your headshots with this. So we're busting their helmets, helmets, but it'd be nice to be able to take them out and their helmet in a single shot, right? Oops, I did not mean to do that. So I feel like also what's good is like with the Nemesis, you can play a little bit deeper. Like I think it, I haven't checked the range, but I have a good feeling that it's got a longer range, optimal range than, um, than the uh, Mantis. But I wonder, you know, I wonder because I know people that really love this gun, right? And I argued with them. I'm like, but the Mantis is so much better. And they, and they, they're just like, oh, but I love it. And, um, and then, so I'm wondering if it's like an acquired taste thing. I'm wondering, like, the more you use it, like, you fall in love with the power, like, um, and then you just kind of get used to it, and then you start landing all your shots and whatever. Oh. I felt like I landed that. Landed that. There's 13 million on their head. So let's see what we're getting. Uh, let's track those numbers. 30 million. So 
see, so let's see if we can, there we go. So I had the stacks to be able to hit her on the chest. That's what I was trying to do. So unfortunately you lose your headshot stacks, but at least you're alive. So let's see what we can do to this boss without headshot stacks. So took out three quarter of his armor. Give me a head, give me a head. Ooh, missed. Just again. Ah! Oh, they're fucking with me now. Slow down. See, when you miss like that, you just gotta slow down. You just gotta tell yourself. So literally say that. Slow down. Good shot. But don't hesitate. When you got it, you let it go. Let it go. Ooh, I should have had that. Oh, he's juking on me. I'll take out your homie instead. Is that medic still alive or did we finish the medic? Yeah, okay, you get the hang of this though. This is the longest I've ever used this gun. So, you know, honestly, like I'm brand new to the Nemesis basically. I've had it forever. I've just, that was 41 million. I just love the, the Mantis so much that I've never really given it a, a shot. A true shot, you know what I mean? I've used it a few times and was just like, eh, man. 57 million right there, ladies and gents. Finished it on a high. 57 million. So just so you guys know, um, you know, I don't use any, uh, this is a non-elite controller. This is a, just a, a standard Xbox controller. So there's no, there's no mods to it. So my point is like, if I can do it, you can, you know what I mean? So, and I'm surgical, but I am surgical with my, my Mantis. I mean, we'll flip to the Mantis here in a second, just uh, for comparison views. It's just faster. You can get more shots out. You know what I mean? So when you got like a bunch of full, you also, when there's guys coming at you, running at you, I mean, I, I think, I mean, maybe I could get there with my Nemesis too, but with my Mantis, I'm just like really good at, at handling it. You know, I just got a good handle on it. So, um, But, and so, yeah, so I'm kind of looking for you guys' feedback on like, you know, what's what's better, the Mantis? Because the Mantis has its perks, right? One thing that I just gotta say that makes the Mantis so appealing is the unlimited decoys, right? So it gives you 50% more headshot damage and weak point damage to enemies that aren't uh, targeting you. So that helps against dogs and tanks because you get weak point damage too. But uh, headshot kills reset the cooldowns of the decoy. That's a big deal. You know what I mean? Let's change our outfit. I think we need to look more badass. There you go. Sharpshooter uniform equipped. <laughs> Let's do this now. Now we're really gonna kill. I just got like, you know, 50% more weapon handling by switching to that uniform, you know? Rock on. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, Waxy. So I'm in the zone, man. I'll let you know if I find one. <laughs> Ice Yamamoto though I, I hear you said so Ice Yamamoto's got a good point so he's like I got a dual sniper build so he uses the nemesis for big bosses but why not just why not just use the TAC 50 the TAC 50's got a base 2.3 million I mean I might take you two shots but maybe one right I don't know What's stronger? Have you have you done a comparison, Ice Yamamoto? What's stronger, the Nemesis or the Attack 50? Do you know? Does anybody know? I haven't done the side by side, so. So okay, now I'm running the the Mantis. So l let me show you the difference. Uh, let's, hopefully, I didn't lose my. that there's a waddle dude here see that decoy out you see what i'm saying that decoy is a big advantage because people aren't shooting at you so you can play in tighter in tighter fights and i'm gonna clear this out way faster because of that i'm always gonna have that decoy because i'm always gonna get a headshot kill in time
decoy out again. See that? Oh, let's launch our, um, let's get our, our human decoys out here too. <laughs> like, oh. These sideways running guys, they're a little trickier to shoot. They run sideways on your ass. Look at they're all all the enemies are all clumped up in the back away from my sniper. I can even run and gun with this, by the way. Like that's the difference on how, like the, on how I can play with my mantis. I can I mean not like not like a you know an SMG or anything like that, but I mean like I can move and be in motion and shooting with this thing. See that? Got him on the run. You know, just like, and I mean, I was probably doing that a little bit with the the the, the man nemesis too, but I just faster with this thing. Faster, you just it's just got a nice snap to it too, right? Like it just goes snap. You can feel a break in their neck as it's penetrating their skull. You see what I'm saying? Like, just boom. I mean, so the question comes down, do you need 57 million, you know, damage coming out of a sniper? Do you? Or are we cool with the, whatever we're getting here? It's probably, uh, unfortunately that wasn't a headshot right there, but I killed the boss with one bullet. So that's something. And then you get the highlighted heads too, right? So you get the highlighted heads. That's helpful. Ooh, got me some farther out there. These guys are not gonna come out and play apparently, huh? Let's get this purple guy. Oh, whatever. Wiggle wart. Come on, wiggle wart. These are so fun. This is what, I mean, Mr. Rob, like you were saying that you gotta get your, they're so fun, sniper builds. They're so much fun, you know? They, you kind of, you get into them, right? Because you're like, you're hyper-focused. You're like, you know, and there's some really, they're really satisfying, right? You get a special sound effect. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you when you snap that head back. Come on, man, I'm missing these shots. These guys are running around like maniacs. Maybe it's because I already killed their boss. They got nothing to stand for. See, I would that that would have been harder to do with the nemesis because I had the halo on her head so I could see her in the dark, right? One shot of that shield guy right there. Psycho lady. Got it. Unlimited decoy is so handy. Cause he was looking for me, right? And then I distracted him. And then now I can finish him off. <laughs> One shot of that shield guy too. So, nice. But I'm gonna go back to the nemesis. We're just uh, doing this for comparison sakes. This is a nem. I would, I do want to, I would do want to get my touches on the nemesis. Figure that out. How do we make the nemesis? I mean, maybe it's just me. Uh, it might just be getting used to, right? Because uh, I, I mean, I'm just used to the the mantis more, but the the decoys. I, I gotta tell you. But you know, also when you're in a group scenario, you don't always need the decoys. That's there's that.
Stood him up. Stood him up. Let's one shot this boss. One shot the boss. 22 million. See what I'm saying? You don't need the nemesis when you can one shot the boss with the mantis. Back of the skull. <laughs> that felt good. See, it feels good, guys. I'm not going to lie. It feels really good to run these sniper builds. You know what I mean? They just, they're just they just satisfying. It's just that pink mist concept. The little crunch of the skull. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, the White Death. Uh... Biko, Biko, I'm trying to do my, well, kind of, kind of. I mean, definitely, uh, you missed it, Biko, you missed it. We did the, um, I'll show it again too, but we did the, uh, a really amazing, remember the, um, uh, the striker build, the assault rifle test that we did? I had a better version of that and it came out really good. But let me find, let me scout this gear and I'll make sure everybody gets up to speed on the builds. Let me make sure I don't. So I'm looking for a, a carbine so I can do the carbine test for people because a lot of people were asking about the carbine with the build setup that I have. But they've only been giving me military AKMs lately because they know that I was crafting them so the game kind of figured it out. But yeah, so I'm, I'm actually working on the, on the Nemesis because I haven't given it a fair shot. I'm a real big fan of the Mantis. I'm just really good with it. It's faster to use. You know, you can acquire targets faster. You can pump out more shots per, I guess, minute faster. Um, so, you know, if I got four guys standing, uh, kind of coming at me, then I could, I could literally take them, all four of them out with the Mantis. And then with the Nemesis, it's just a little slower. You got to charge and, you know, that kind of thing. Now, but I guess what I'm saying is that I want to give it a chance because I know people... Uh, some people have just like gotten really proficient with it and they're like i'm fast with it i'm fat you know whatever so uh so here's yeah so i'm trying the nemesis again it's a three-piece aces build with um headhunter and then the backpack is eroli holdings with vigilance and i got uh what do i got 21 316 percent headshot damage with the nemesis and then 21% weapon handling on the build. Of course, I'm running Sharpshooter. And then I got the uh, Sawyer's Knee Pads for Stand Your Ground. 30% weapon damage there. So that's that build. The build that we were running earlier was the... Um, I saved it somewhere. Uh, where did I put it? Didn't I save it? Did I already deconstruct it? That's so many builds, guys. Uh, might have to re reconstruct it, I guess. I thought I saved it. Maybe I saved over it on accident. Dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Yeah, I'll have to show you that though a little, a little bit then. So, you know, so there's, what else could you do? To, the thing is, is like, what else you, can you do to change it? So, uh, what variations can you do? So, let me show you. So, we're going to put the fourth piece of aces. Now, what's the benefit? Is you're going to get this. It's basically going to be about the same amount of damage. But now you got a little game to play, right? And so every hit is gonna flip a card, basically. Headshots are gonna flip two cards. So that's basically what's gonna happen. Uh, flip an additional card and headshots, you see that? So, and then uh, when you do that, once uh, you get, you'll get these, the net, once you get all the cards flipped, well, after all cards are, are flipped, you get, you're gonna get 30% amplified damage on your next shot. Now, the better your hands, so if you get four of a kind, or full house, or aces and eights, then then you're gonna get additional amplified shots. But again, once Headhunter procs and fills, it doesn't even matter, you know? So that's why you're gonna see that with whether it's Aces or Sawyers, the damage uh, top off is gonna be about the same. So let's see, I don't know, there's not very... Um, I, I hate jogging, so you know, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to. But uh, let's go ahead and make our way around the corner. Uh, hey, by the way, guys, uh, if you're in Texas Players Club, remember that the new classified build just dropped. 
and it's called Nightcrawler and it's a ton of fun. It is just super off meta, but uh, once you kind of really understand the build, it's gonna make so much sense to you. And it uh, basically allows you to paralyze groups of enemies and beat them down with your 55% amplified weapon damage. And it's a weapon damage build, so it's a uh, ton of fun. Unlike anything that you've seen before, technically. Okay, let's see if we can pull this these close quarter combats off. See, so like, let's fully charge against this turret. Can we take it out? No. You see, so that's kind of irritating. Like, why have all this damage if you can't fully, if it still takes like five shots to take out a proxy, right? I don't know. That would have been a lot easier with my Mantis. Anyway, so uh, yeah, just check out this new build. Here's a promo and I'll, uh, while I'm jogging over to the next control point. So I'm at this whatever dragon one. Um, I'm in this overlook area here. Red dragon is what it's called. So yeah, so we'll see about if we can set off some fireworks here. But um, so let's see who, let's pick an elite and see if we can one tap this elite here. So that'd be the advantage of going to Nemesis is one tapping elites. And we can do that. So with the Mantis, it sometimes takes, uh, you have to rack that up. Like you gotta take out a non-elite first. Displace, displace. Hostile broadcast detected. So you watch those cards down below. So it's come on, I got you. I got you little beady little head. Give it to me. There it is. Oh, I had that. I like taking them in motion. A lot of fun in motion. See, now we're missing that little halo, right? That little halo. It just helps a little bit. We're getting it done, though, folks. We're getting it done still. There we go, we got our little stacks and all we got the amp damage. So let's see if we can just see what we can get here. Boss in the house. Missed. 45 million on that boss, almost 46 million. Good job, ladies and gents. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, look at these jackasses. And that was our AKM. There's still more down there, though. Give them something to play with.
point blank with the nemesis. <laughs> I guess you could do it. <laughs> Why not, right? So yeah, so this is so basically, you know, it's probably a little less, you know, damage that we're putting out with the nemesis. I mean, with the Sawyer's knee, without the Sawyer's knee pads. No, I'm sorry. Let me say that differently. Here's a nice foul killer. Um, let me let me get that right. Like, I think four pieces of uh, aces. I think puts out a small amount more. Except mine's not god rolled, right? So keep that in mind. But then Sawyer's knee pads. But uh, Sawyer's knee pads. You know, the thing about Sawyer's is that you're not always at 30% weapon damage because you're moving. So the advantage of the aces is it allows you to free up a little bit. But you're missing out some on some armor. You know what I mean? But base weapon damage is really close. So, you know, it's really dealer's choice. Whatever one you guys prefer to go with, just do it. Doesn't matter. Just go with what, you're, what you play better with. So I'm going to play a little bit deeper so that I can get more, stay out of cover longer. I think that might work. We'll see. Shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I would have done better. Trust me, I would have. If I had my mantis, that would have been a different story. So now I'm just annoyed. Let me heal up real quick. But again, it's not necessarily the gun. It's just that, you know, I'm not as good with the, the, the nemesis, right? I'm slower with it, but you'll pick up the rhythm and eventually you'll figure out how to be faster with it. Just a little uh, pro tip, just for sniping. Uh, aim for not just their heads, but the top of the head, like their forehead. So that way if they bob and weave a little bit. You don't accidentally hit them in the chest or the neck. And then you lose your headshot stack. So try to go for the, the the top of their head, not just their head. Damn it. Got to take a bullet. Same old shit every time with these rushers, huh? It's always these rushers. They're my Achilles heel with the nemesis. Not so much with the... Uh, not so much with the uh, mantis again. Like with the mantis, they're not my Achilles heel, those, those chicks. Now that we have more decoys out there, we'll be all right. More human decoys now that our backup has arrived. The sniper builds, don't worry about armor on kill or anything like that. You don't take that much damage, you know what I mean? You really don't. But there's no better DPS than one shot, one kill. I'll tell you that. They're way out there. Let's see if I can get that. Can I get it? She's way out there. And she's going wild. Got it. <laughs> see, Nini, challenge yourself. Where'd they all go? Where'd everybody go? Where did, what happened in the fight? <laughs> did we run them off? Oh, they're all on their perimeters. There we go. Ooh, heavily armored. Let's see what we got. Got her. Got her. Armor up, apparently. Got her. I don't know how hard that was, but let's see if we can one tap the boss. Missed. Missed. Got it. 32 million. 53 million on his homie. The boss's right hand man took 53 million. More than the boss. We didn't have Haddon Thurston all stack. D50, amazing 
amazing pistol. You got to see my D50 build. It's called Release the Beast. Release the D50 Beast. Anthony DeMar, what's up, man? Did you just get here? What's up, Pathetic Circus? <laughs> I can't say that name. Pathetic Circus, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm ins insulting you a little bit. Funny name, man. <laughs> Kudos to you. Did we clear this? What's going on? What happened? Defend. I thought we just did that. Did it stall out on this? It does that sometimes. That sucks. We're not gonna get credit for this if we have to reset it. Sometimes what happens is that like an enemy will walk out of the territory and then they just kind of just start, you know, sipping on a cup of tea or something like that, right? Wow. Yeah, I have the Ice Yapa model. I probably have that right on my character right now, as a matter of fact. A yellow uh, Fox's Prayer. No, I don't. I took it off to make space. But, oh, this is it. This is probably it. So, yeah, I swapped, swapped it out to armor. But, yeah, so I have a yellow uh, Fox's Prayer. I have a yellow Contractor's Gloves, too. Um, I think they're my stash. I have a yellow Death Grips. So these are my yellow death grips. They're the world of weapon damage right now, but uh, I also, they're normally a yellow skill tier there. And then I have a yellow, I don't have it on my character right now, but I also have a yellow um, uh, hollow man mask, all yellow with skill damage. And they all do make sense. Of course, they don't, you know, their special attributes don't uh, help the skills. So I don't know if you did, if you knew that, so damage to armor, oh, oh, it looks like he's way over there. So damage to armor, damage to health, and damage to targets out of cover don't help your, uh, what should we call it? Your uh, turret, your uh, ballistic skills. Now they will help your skill, other skills like um, an oxidizer or bleed. buddy oh come on saved by the steam i think this is our guy oh if i can just land a shot on him come on can't see through that steam there it is there it is red dragon captured all right so um so yeah so that that's it's worth knowing that like that you know they're gonna it's still they're still good though they're still good just realize that they're, they're just helping your your like capacitor or your test subject or whatever the soft rifle you're running but they're not gonna help your turrets so so that's fine as long as your intentions are that's what you're intending right and so it still makes a really good hybrid build oh look at that we got a chungo let's see how many shots it takes us to take him out. One, still got his helmet. Two, he's maybe, he's still, yeah, he still got his helmet. Three, busted his helmet. Oh, I missed that one, but three busted his helmet. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like if it's gonna take three shots with the nemesis to bust his helmet, no. I, I could have probably two-shotted him if I had my, my stacks, right? All my stacks from Headhunter, but I didn't have those. So we got an F2000, boo. Not a big fan of the F2000. I keep trying to, you know? Like, I whip it out every time I'm working on some special assault rifle build, and it just doesn't pan out. But... But yeah, so the oxidizer, guys. So the oxidizer will take damage to armor, damage to health, and damage to targets out of cover. That will benefit the oxidizer. And also benefits the biomask. All of those things benefit the biomask. Here's a carbine with crit damage. I guess it's better than what I have, but still not, still not good. 
Okay, so let's uh, flip over to the White House real quick as I reset these control points. And then I want to make sure everybody gets a glance at the uh, assault rifle build we did today. Also, uh, just to review the build, do a quick build review. And then we'll get out and do some more killing. But, I mean, what else can we do with the Nemesis, right? So, look at it this way. Let's, let's look at it this way. So, if we can run the Mantis, okay? And we know that we can one-shot the boss at, like, somewhere around... You know, every boss is going to be different. But, like, let's just say 24 million, right? So, that's a pretty good average, actually. So, if you can one-shot a boss at around 22 to 24 million and the boss dies... Then and if we're if we're if you saw us creating at what 53, 54, 57 million, definitely saw 57 million out there. So if we that gives us 25 million worth of damage to play with if we're running the nemesis. What do we do with that? So we have a 25 million damage, let me put it this way, surplus. Right? This build has a 25 million damage surplus. What do we do with that? You know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to put armor on these things, right? Because you you're really not taking much damage. So what do you do with 27 million surplus, right? Uh, do you put an armor regen? Do you put in repair skills? Do you put in more weapon handling? I think that's maybe what you do. You know, what if we put, oh, uh, put in more weapon handling so that way we're uh, landing more shots, right? There's, that's a good, that's a good, that makes sense to me, right? That makes sense to me. So we got a lot of headshot damage. We got 311, 326% headshot damage. I felt like it was less a minute ago. Stats be changing. So if we have 326% headshot damage, what if we drop that down, right? I mean, if I got my Mantis, what do I got here? 321, so they're about the same. So what if we put on more weapon handling? What does that do? Should we listen? I think it's worth the shot. I say we put on more weapon handling and then uh, go back out there and see if we can do basically accomplish the same thing, right? So let's reassemble uh, the other build though first. Uh, let me put on, um, I can't believe I didn't save it. That's just weird I didn't save it. I must've saved over it. Anyways, so uh, we were running this AKM here, okay? So it was all about this. Today's build was all about this, uh, this military AKM. It's a very special one. It's, it's, uh, and if you're not familiar, if you didn't follow um, yesterday's live stream the other day, uh, yesterday's live stream, I think, where, what's up, Paul Chuck? What up, brother? Um, where we did the test on the G36. So I tested this G36 because I, I had it sitting in my stash, so the one on the left here. I had it sitting in my stash and I was like, it's really interesting because I got, it came a nearsighted, right? Nearsighted gives it 80% stability. So as you can see, the stabilities are, are maxed out. And then but I was like, but it takes off 35% optimal range, but they gave it to me with 24% optimal range as an attribute. So I was like, it kind of negates that. And then I did, what I ended up doing is putting the 10% optimal range mod. So basically we get 80% stability without losing any optimal range. Which I think is important for an assault rifle not to lose optimal range. It is. You lose damage. So, and then the rest we got crits, we got more rounds, and then we're running the 8x scope because we got uh because of the talent that we're running on our chest. So I ran this in yesterday's live stream and I was like, it's absolutely amazing. I was like, but because the military G36 is sort of a middle of the road assault rifle, meaning it's not the strongest, it's not the weakest, I was like it's sort of okay. I was like, you're probably better off not doing this though. And so I was like, I mean, it was great. It didn't move, but you know, I was like, I, I was like thinking it's probably better on the AKM that has a peak damage. The AKM is so strong that you can afford to lose weapon damage on it. So that's what I did. So today I found, I got this one. It's not perfectly God world, but it does the job, right? So uh, it's the same, same setup, nearsighted with optimal range. And then I put the optimal range mod on it. So this thing is uh, 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 crits approaching 1.3 million. All right. So we put on, uh, this is our setup. So we put on a uh, four piece striker, uh, really easy to assemble. So it'll only take us a second. And then the four piece striker is giving us uh, weapon handling, rate of fire. And then it's also giving us 25% um, amplified damage, right? Okay. So we got crit chance and crit damage everywhere. And then on the chest piece, 
the way we had it running was the um we were running this cheska with focus okay and so focus is giving us 50 percent weapon damage and we're critted out so uh that's why we're running the 8x scope on the gun and plus we're getting 30 percent headshot damage so bonus 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 and then on the backpack uh we're not running the marks we're running this grupo which is uh almost maxed out everywhere and then uh vigilance so this is basically our setup now the only thing that's missing is the uh the town i'm actually going to save it this time in a loadout slot i don't know how i didn't do that but um give me a quick second so we're going to go here and then i chose gunner for the 10 percent armor on kill because we don't really have anything there but also you get uh weapon handling um where is it they have 10 percent weapon handling while not moving so that's also helping and you generate ammo and rate of fire increases so lots of reasons to go with this so we're going to activate that and i'll just do a quick demonstration in the testing range uh we did a whole uh, thorough walkthrough of this so i'm not going to spend a heck of a lot of time on it but it's uh, it's pretty impressive i just got to say it's really impressive and so uh, i'm gonna put on invulnerable so that you can see how it stacks up and i'm gonna go ahead and put it on 10 meters okay so again there it is our let's show you our crits we're at uh, 55 crit chance 132 crit damage okay 105 percent headshot damage that's great and then we got 10 percent armor on kill on basically no armor so uh basically what you want to do is stack up uh, so we're gonna go in scope so let's just hang out here for a quick second stack that up stack up those headshot i'm in that scope time and then let's work on uh, building up the striker right and then we should be at 1.26 or something like that but pay attention to the muzzle it's a laser beam we're shooting lasers lasers 1.242 1.242 there sorry i'm looking at the numbers so i'm swaying but 1.242 500 there it is <laughs> okay okay so i mean are you upset by that number <laughs> are you like damn i wish it was higher or are you get 1.242 is damn good we cleared legendary solo with that and it's a laser beam it's a laser beam i mean look at that there's no bounce in that barrel there's no bounce absolutely no bounce a little sway left to right that's uh that's accuracy though so you can add more accuracy if you want to on your build but yeah so now just so you know like we should compare it so if we put on the other akm so this is the strongest version is uh here actually so let me just switch weapons so here's the strongest build from uh that we we tested out also this is the strongest build in the game so it's obviously got more of a kick right so it's a little bit more of a bore and so again my uh my build isn't fully god rolled the backpack but so this is gonna be close but just not all the way there 1.637 see that you can't be any geek off the street gotta be handy with the steel if you know what i mean there it is ah uh, i'm waiting trying to get it to stick on that board but you guys saw it 1.637 Ah! It's never gonna land! Okay, 1.637. You saw it, Dammy. Damn it. <laughs> Call me Stimpy. Welcome. Welcome to the Players Club. Call me Stimpy. Thank you for joining the Players Club. Appreciate you, man, for supporting me and the cause. The Division 2 cause, that is. So I really appreciate that, man. Uh, for all of you that are in the Players Club, uh, just remember the new classified build just dropped, so you can take advantage of that and you can find it um the easiest place to find it is there's links to it in the description area of this live stream there's a link to the latest classified build so it's called uh night stalker and then it's also can be found just by going over to my um a youtube homepage, and right at the top there's a members only playlist so Okay, cool. I'm going to save it this time. So, anyway, so this is a high level of the build. I appreciate you calling me Stimpy. Thank you for joining, man. 
And also, you should head over to Discord if you haven't done that because we do have a members-only channel on Discord. And so if you want to get into, like, uh, hey, Tux, can you put my bill? That kind of stuff. Uh, definitely can find me over there. Appreciate you, man. So, uh, yeah, so this is the assault rifle build that we focus on today. And again, uh, nearsighted with optimal range. You got to run it. You got to try it. So otherwise, you know, going measured is going to be the strongest setup for your assault rifle. We did test that against strained and optimus and measured ended up being stronger. Also, you can do, um, uh, I, and I recommend this, okay? Totally recommend this. This P416, okay, with measured on it okay so uh no optimal range no um nearsighted watch this laser beam <laughs> laser beam laser beam right absolute laser beam so it's basically the same. It's basically putting out the same crit damage as uh, the other version, the uh, the nearsighted. So these are basically about the same crit damage between the AKM uh, with with optimal range and nearsighted and the military military P416 when measured. They're basically creating about the same. But I believe that the military AKM throughout a mission will will outperform the military P416 with this nearsighted setup, and that's because. You're gonna have a more. You don't have to ramp up to that like the P4, like Measured does. So Measured is gonna be weaker on the top half of the mag, and it's gonna be stronger on the bottom half of the mag. Uh, when that's it's the bottom half of the mag that crits at uh, 1.2 something million, right? With a military AKM, the whole mag is critting at 1.2 million. You know, so so you got a flat, uh, more consistent uh, damage rate on the AKM than you do P416. But the P416 is an absolute beast. I totally recommend it. You know, but if you want to like choose, if you're feeling like you need to choose between the two, then the AKM will probably outperform the P416 throughout a mission. But okay, let's get back into our sniper builds, guys. So I think the que oh the question was if we if think about if you think about the, the way that that Tux thinks about his builds, right? And he says, well, it's overkill and his efficiency. You shouldn't play so. Most people use the like Ice Yamamoto brought up a really good point, right? Thanks, uh, call me Stippy. Appreciate you uh, the compliment there, man. Um, so let me see here. Uh, Ice Yamamoto said earlier that he and it's a really good example. A lot of people play this way. He uses the Nemesis when he comes up against like a big Chunga or a named Boss and whatever. But if we look at it differently, what if we say? Uh, and a lot of people look at it like I see Yamamoto, and it's a really good way to look at this weapon, right? But what if we look at it this way? What if we say... Uh, what if we say... That the Nemesis is a surplus? What if we look at it that way? Look at what if we look at... Okay, so if we compare the Mantis and the Nemesis, the Mantis puts out like 24... Between 22 and 29 million, basically. Where the Nemesis puts up... To 59 million so if we say we have a 25 million surplus in weapon damage what do we do with that well putting on armor on kill on a on a sniper build doesn't really make sense guys it just doesn't because you don't take that much damage so a lot of that armor on kill kind of just ends up going to waste so you know putting on armor regen same thing it kind of goes to waste because again you're always i mean your four armor kits are just are just good you're good to go you have time to use them you're not running and gunning you know what I mean? You're not in a hurry. You just use your armor kit. So, um, you could put on repair skills, and then your second one could be a drone, uh, repair drone. So that would be okay. <clears throat> but also, the drone gives you away. By the way, your your location. So you might not want to do that. But that's one way to go. That's actually probably would be my alternate way. But I'm saying, like, okay, why don't we take off? If we're gonna, uh, oh, that crit chance keeps creeping on here. I gotta save it the right way. But I'm thinking like, what if we, um, there we go. What if we take all of our headshot damage and we roll it to weapon handling, bring down our damage, right? Get rid of that surplus and make us like a more like bullseye master. You know what I mean? Will we feel the benefit of all that weapon handling or will it go to waste? Only the gameplay will reveal. Let's do it now. <laughs> all right. 
So I'm gonna take it. So I'm literally gonna take that. I, I think that's just a smarter way to do it. I just think it's smarter. I mean, you guys don't have to agree with me. I'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, do you, does that make sense what I'm talking about, or am I just like confusing you guys? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you should. I guess what I was saying, like what I'm trying to say, is like I don't think you should create a build. I mean, unless you're doing something for the raid. Okay, we're not talking about like raids, and we're not talking about like speed running legendary missions. I'm talking like for everyday running sniper build, right? Like. I just don't think you want to um, create a build that's basically, um, you know, that that's basically only makes sense for like 1% of the gameplay that you encounter, right? Which is the nemesis. Just a nemesis build is so strong that you don't need that damage, you know, for the 85% of the gameplay that you use. You need a fraction of it, you know? So I'm gonna uh, also change out these knee pads. So I'm gonna run four. I'm gonna start with four piece aces, and then I'm gonna change out all of these to weapon handling. And so we're gonna be way high in weapon handling. And so that's gonna ha help us. Is it's also gonna help our reload situation. It's gonna help our stability, our accuracy, accuracy. So uh, weapon swapping as well, right? So let's see where we are with our our stats. And so that's gonna be high because we just added. So 286. With headshot damage that's really respectable headshot damage 286 is really respectable and now we got 53 percent weapon handling 53 percent weapon handling that's amazing all right so let's go see if we can uh, basically do the same thing that we just did and we're gonna try to we're gonna stick to the same zone so that way we're facing the same enemy type and that's what i like to do when i'm creating my builds you know what i mean to make sure we're consistent but Yeah, thanks, I, uh, Yamamoto. So you get what I'm saying. Like, the extra damage won't really be missed in normal gameplay. Yeah, because, you. Get, I mean, if you can... We'll see. We'll see. So we got two tests, right? Can we one-shot the boss? Um, and we should be able to because, you know, the truth is, like we like we discussed earlier, Headhunter usually takes over anyways, right? So Headhunter is so strong, it takes over all the damage after you get your first kill. So the question is... Uh, is can we still one-shot elites uh, on the onset of engagement? So without Headhunter, can we one-shot kill elites? That we, we, we were able to do that before. Now, we didn't test it against every elite. So some elites are tankier than others. But, you know. So that's good. Those are our two test points. There we go. We put on our sniper outfits because that gives us more weapon handling. And then... Uh, Nemesis, here we go. So I'm gonna save over that for now. Okay, so there we go. 296 headshot damage. 286, that is, 286 headshot damage, all right? And then we got 53% weapon handling. So everything else is the same, all right? Everything else is the same. Is that where we started with 330% headshot damage? That's where we started, right? That's standard, I think. I think we had 336 headshot damage or something like that. I think that's standard. You can even go higher if you use um, if you use improvised pieces. So try going improvised. If you want to go over on your headshot damage, you can uh, go improvised. Um, and then I think the white death might take you even higher if you want to go that route. Okay, so the question is, can we one-shot an elite? So let's take out this elite right here. He's kind of a weird one because he's got a shield on his back. but So yeah, we can still one-shot an elite. Now again, we're, we are playing solo, so we're not scaled up all the way, but... Let's see if we can fill this weapon handling improvement. In danger. Oh, I didn't release the bullet. I hate when that happens. And now she's hidden. Okay, find a new target. Let me get that head. Give me that head. Oh, Mr. Head. Got a decoy. Make sure we don't get flanked either. Let's take out this big chubby. 
Oh, we are getting flanked. Oh, but these weirdos. I don't want to fight these weirdos. I need to take out the scope. <laughs> I got a scope on the AKM, so that, let me let me fix that. It's not helping when we get in um, these little skirmishes. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to business. So I guess the question of the day is, can we make the Nemesis like feel just as good as the Mantis by doing what we did? You know what I mean? We acquire targets faster. I mean, some of it's user, right? So I'm missing those shots, not the, not the gun. There we go, we got him. Got that purple guy, it's clean. Got her. Okay, so we need to track our damage. Curious on where we're landing at. Got him. 53 million still, guys. Still. We dropped our headshots so much and we're still getting 53 million. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? 50 million on the boss. So there we go. We passed the test. One shot at a boss. We one should we started by one shot in elite, right? From the opener. Before without headhunter, we were able to do that. And then we one shot at the boss. And we're good. We got 53 million still. So, 46 million. So I think from here, it's a matter of 51, almost 52 million right there. So I think from here, it's a matter of picking up speed on acquisition of targets and kills, you know? Like chain killing faster, so to speak. Who do we got over here? Who's messing around over here? I don't see anybody. Oh god, I hate when I run away like that. Let's go chase them now. That's really interesting though to me. I mean, I, that's interesting to me. I don't. I'm not sure anybody has worked that equation out yet. You know what I mean? Everybody is just like, oh, the mantis. You know, you can get a hundred million bazillion damage on it, but I'm not sure anybody's ever thought about it like we have today as a group. You know what I mean? Like, hey, what if we got this? What if we're what if we got sur what if we look at it as a surplus in damage and then what would we do instead of that surplus and with that <coughs> uh, and we, we we took off so much headshot damage and we're still getting 53 million I mean what what I mean so all, I mean we lost 50 we lost 50 percent headshot damage right so we lost uh, uh, 10 20 30 40 we lost 40 percent headshot damage. really hard to get land your shots when there's somebody shooting at you by the way <laughs> get out of here oh I missed that guy's head not hers didn't miss her head I better heal up though. oh I got killed oh all right as I said I better heal up Oh, and like, where's my control point, loser? Freaking losers. <laughs> They're like down the block. That's what I'm saying. They always abandon me. Oh, you use a nemesis? Yeah, I think that's where we were. Let me, I'll calculate it, Muhammad. I'll let you know where we were, too. Because I think we were pretty close to what you were saying. Uh, we dropped it on purpose, though. What we were saying was that we got a surplus. We're too strong. It doesn't make sense. I got rid of 40% headshot damage and we're still creating at 53 million. So, you know what I mean? That's sort of the point. So, uh, we were at 286 plus 40. So, two, I think we're at two, uh, two, 326 is where we were at, I think. 326, is that right? Sounds right. Yeah, because we took away 10, uh, 10 there, and then we took away uh, 10 there, and then we took away 10 there, 
yeah, that's right. Take away 10 there, and then we took away 10 there. Yeah, so we lost 40 percent headshot damage. <clears throat> so 226, yeah, 226. So I guess you can run the punch drunk and try to get more out of it that way. I wonder if that's uh, worthy. So let's try that. Actually, that might be better because we'll pick up more weapon handling. That it's worth to try. Yeah. So that's higher right there. That's uh, plus forty. Put plus forty on that. Oh, actually, we're not even done. I think we just uh, beat that number. So three hundred six. So that's two forty. Three hundred and forty-six right there. If you want three hundred and forty-six percent headshot damage, put this one on. Or 336. 336. So you put, uh, re roll your weapon handling. Uh, Mohammed, this is how you do it. So, to run three piece uh, aces, run the punch drunk mask, headshot damage, weapon handling, headshot, or uh, instead of weapon handling, put headshot damage there. Okay, so that'll put 10, 20, 30, 40% back, headshot damage back on your build. You'll be at 346% headshot damage. But you don't need it, but you can get it. Might be fun to just try it. I don't think it's gonna change our numbers though, you know what I mean? Like we're already, we're just, uh, I think all my other punch drugs are my other character though. So I'm not sure I can do it. Uh, skill damage, armor regen one. Oh, here's that y'all that y'all mask I was talking about. Uh, I think it was ice. What's up, Dr. Hannes? Uh, see how it's got, uh, yeah, I think it was you ice. Uh, so oh, hazard so it's the uh, hollow man the skill damage and then skill tier there see and then um, I, I think you wanted um, The contractors is what I also had Yeah, so skill damage skill tier. They're, these are definitely good to run on the skill build. They really are like you were saying if you haven't tried it so Yeah, elite, I like that elite. I think that works good too. I've actually done that too. I've I've run the um, the Fox's prayers um, instead of the Sawyer's knee pads, but they all kind of net the kind of the same thing. You know what I mean? Don't they a little bit? I mean, some people put crits on their build too. You could do that. You know, it's just kind of like I think we're all back at the same place. I guess if you just think about it, like you know. You get a surplus of damage and then what let's let's try taking off the the fourth piece of okay so we're taking off the fourth piece so we're now down to three pieces of um aces okay three pieces of aces and punch drunk let's go see what happens then let me reset the, i'm gonna actually reset the control point so this is kind of interesting this is kind of an interesting test what happens are we still gonna get uh where's our weapon handling let's look at our weapon handling. do we get more weapon handling? okay so we're still at the same weapon handling but we did pick up more headshot damage by doing it this way. But we also lost the four. We lost the uh, the four pieces bonus uh, from Dead Man's Hand, right? So uh, basically, let's see if we can get north of 54 million. We almost hit 55 million with the four piece aces. So let's see if we can get north of 55 or anywhere around it. Let's just see where we land at. Oh yeah, good point. Do you play Elite Panda? Are you more of a PvP guy? I should have asked. Do you spend uh, Do you spend a lot more time there, or do you balance your gameplay between both? I find that some people just go all in on PvP when they go PvP, and I kind of get why your builds kind of start create being created that way. Okay, so first test is to take out an Elite, and unfortunately we got a Rusher. Let's take out the Grenader. They're always a pain in the ass. Yep, so 12 million, we got the Grenader. Three consecutive kills. So I didn't get that last headshot damage, I don't know if anybody else saw it, but. Thirty-eight million right there. Thirty-nine million. Twenty million. So was Aces gonna be stronger? 
34 million. Thirty-seven million. Can flank. Sound like we're getting flank. Oh, we are. Oh my God, there's three of them. Holy shit! Run, run! <laughs> shit, there's three of them. Only fucking thing. That was a bad situation. I'm getting out of there. It was too close quarters. You know what I mean? You got three of them in. So let's take them down this alley where numbers don't matter. Hell's Gate, people. Hell's Gate. You know what I'm talking about? 300, you guys ever watched 300, that movie? Where they lured them all into the, the title of Hell's Gate, there we go. What? Oh shit, <laughs> they flanking us, run! <laughs> They got to our AKM, right? So this is the one we measured. It's just so strong. It's like you don't even have to hit him in the head. Okay. Let's get back to business. That's kind of... It's scary when those ladies come at you a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. I get scared a little bit. Oh! oh all of that? Oh. That was a mess. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. He's still our PvP guy. Uh, so, hey, I feel like, so more headshot damage ended up equating less uh, end damage numbers so far, right? I mean, I think we saw, what was the highest number that we got out of that set? I think, was it 43? I think I saw. That's kind of interesting. So, I mean... Let's try it again with the same setup, but, uh, but more headshot damage. We might have hit our peak at headshot damage, where the fourth piece is uh, getting to amplify damage. It just usually does make more sense, anyways, and and normal builds, anyways. But okay, who we're we gonna take out first? Let's take out this lady, this unsuspecting foe. one-shotting elite so that's that is the pro of this build is that you get one shot the elites from right off the bat oops also hit shot. which is kind of nice because that means if you if you lose headhunter you're not like starting from scratch all over again so there is a benefit benefit to that on, dude there we go come on Taking a lot of um, a lot of aggro here. So again, a benefit of the mantis. You don't need to charge up all the way. The reality is, unless you're like, so that is gonna save you time. Ah, ah. got hit by that goddamn car God, I can't get a shot. I'm taking too much aggro. There we go. Let's try not to get rushed by these. That grenader's got to go too. Let's get rid of him. He shakes the screen, so. Come on. He knows I'm aiming at him. That's bullshit. All of a sudden, he's, he doesn't want to leave his cover. Okay, let's shoot him in the fucking kneecap then. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, kneecap sucker. like a slingshot this gun you know what I mean like you're using the slingshot on this 
because it releases on let go of the trigger, you know? Also from like satisfaction levels, as far as like this, the feeling when you get the headshot, uh, the Mantis is a little more satisfying, I gotta say that. Like it, it snaps, there's a little more of a snap to it. it has to do with the muzzle, I think. Designated muzzle. I better put on some armor. Yeah, so uh, have we has anybody been paying attention to those damage numbers? Have we been getting uh god damn it? What do we expect? Let's get this decoy out. This I'm gonna start watching now. Let me see here. 13 million, so that's our first kill. Twenty-eight million on the boss. Killed him at twenty-eight million too. So obviously you don't need fifty million. <laughs> I think we've created control point already. Let's get the supply all the way. Can't see anybody, of course. Forty-one million. So there's forty-one million right there. Let's see if we can do better than that. Forty-eight million. I had to give up that headshot stack on that lady. I didn't see the number off of that. Twenty seven. It's become a little easier to handle though, I gotta say that, so I'm not complaining about that. I don't know, man. Can that really be a thing that PC ads aren't as a dis ex ex uh, aggressive? Can that really be a thing? I don't know. I mean, it seems it just it's just it depends on the scenario, though, right? Like if you're in a group or what faction you're running. I don't know. I've heard that before. You're not the first person that said that. You know, it just doesn't seem. Like, that should be the case, right? Let's see, anything good here? Uh, again, we're looking for a carbine, a nice carbine. Preferably God rolled. So calm, military G36, no. Hmm. Sort of rare, huh, that carbine? I actually don't get too many of them dropping. Okay, let's find ourselves in, back in our nest. And we'll pop a... Pop a... Pop a cam, pop a flare, pop a shot. Oh, here comes more enemies down the road, it looks like. So our Achilles heel is gonna be the rushers, right? The machete ladies or whatever they got, the batons. Or my aim, apparently. <laughs> Let me throw up my decoy. 
You gotta take out those grenades because they bounce the screen a lot. Gonna take out that lady too. Oh, we got the shot. Oh man, how did I miss him twice? So if you just remember not to charge all the way, I mean, you don't need to charge all the way, you know what I mean? But I do want to get my maximum headshot damage out here, so. Uh, with those rushers, you don't really want to go out for their heads, right? You want to go for their chests, actually. Come on, guy, I really need you to pop your head up so that I can just take care of business here. Drop. Come on, jump. That they're charging me. Yeah, I'm gonna back up slightly here so we can get back to sniping. Oh, come on. I almost got it lined up. Go back to our perch. Need the high ground. There's always one asshole in the group, isn't there? Come on, buddy. Look at that. They know you're scoped in on them. They just know. Takes too many shots. God damn it. Oh. See, it's that same guy, that guy we left alive on the side. He is, of course, the one guy you keep alive, you know what I mean, is the one that always takes you down. It's always that guy. Never an exception. I notice that all the time. Like, something that happens to me a lot, like when I'm doing solo legendary. I'll leave, there'll be like one guy alive. I'm like, fuck it, I gotta move on. I gotta go forward. Cause He's hiding or something like that. He, he's the one that always comes back and shoots you in the back. He never like, you know, repositions. He just ends up tormenting you from behind. But I can't just sit there and like aim at nothing as he's hiding in cover. Come on, buddy. Oh, more rushers. These ladies are so annoying. Jesus. Here we go again. Find some real estate. Twelve million right there on the boss's head. Let's see, no, no, it had 100 stacks. Let's see how many shots it takes. Missed it. Actually, let me get my decoy out. There it is. Two shots. So that was 24 million in total. That was actually a pretty good shot. Not the Pat myself on the back, but he was walking sideways and he had the shields that clipped the back of his head, basically. Took off the occipital lobe. <laughs> That's what we did. All right, yeah, 12, 21 million on that last kill. I don't know, I mean, I kind of like, I think I like the four piece aces better. I don't think we need the more headshot damage. I think we were better off with the more amp damage. You know, uh, we never really got um, the up to the same damage with all that extra headshot damage. So that more headshot damage ended up being a waste. So four piece ace is, is giving us more amp damage and that ended up being uh, more uh, total damage output on crit. So 
So now I'm dropping our headshot damage back to 286 from, I think it was uh, 306 back there. But yeah, but that is an interesting fact. So I'm glad uh, Muhammad brought it up. Um, yeah, but we can get to 346 uh, percent headshot damage. So I'll show that, I'll showcase that when I showcase this final build. I'll showcase maximum headshot damage and then I'll showcase now do this instead, <laughs> you know? Let's go to this hard control point. What do you guys say? Hey, check out the new classified build while I'm fast traveling. Okay, so here we are. So let's just make sure we got a quick look at the build, the change that I made. And so um, I put back on four pieces of aces, okay? So I took off the punch trunk mask. So it was still the same spot. So gloves with weapon handling, knee pads with weapon handling. Again, we're not God World there. Weapon handling on the holster. And then I'm back to the aces mask with weapon handling and headshot damage. So with this one, I think we clocked in at like 53, 54 million. Last I can remember. Still got the same chest piece, Headhunter, Providence. And then a Raldi backpack with Vigilance. Weapon handling, headshot damage. So we're up to 286% headshot damage. Okay, and we did determine that you can have a max of 346% headshot damage. If you run the punch drunk with four piece. Uh, punch, actually, if you just run the punch drunk and then put headshot damage everywhere. So, um, okay, so what we want to do is um all okay so what we need to test next is uh this same build loadout and actually see how it, uh, it stands up against um oh shit so you can't do a little close-up shot or two with this uh the the tac 50. so we need to see if the tac 50 outperforms the nemesis in damage and if so then we might want to look at an aces build. Now I won't be able to come up with the aces build today because um, you see that to get the top of his head there. Um, because I don't have aces pieces, but take out the grenade. Grenade is my choice because she shakes the screen. Three for three, I think. 34 million. So yeah, we definitely ramp up higher with this loadout. Fifty-three million. Yep, fifty-four million. So this is the stronger build. That's crazy. Think about it. Think about that. It makes sense though. I know logically it makes sense for you builders out there. But yeah, oh, you could go more headshot damage or amp damage. What would do more damage in the long run or even on the short run? It's amp damage, right? Amp damage pays off more. And so that's kind of obvious, I realize. But yeah, so, you know, this, the headshot damage can be a vanity stat if you overdo it. Better off with Sawyer's knee pads or amp going amp damage. So, you know, so, you know, we'll mention that in the build video that, you know, you can get to vanity with your... Headshot damage stats. Fifty two million. Ah, there we go. I wish I had that halo from the Mantis, so I'd be able to know where his head is in the back there. 
54 million almost. I think that's max. 53, 488. I think that's the max on this build. Okay, so let's pull out the TAC 50. See what we get. Give me an elite. Give me an elite. 24 million. Fortunately, he just died, right? Forty-five, eight, eight, seven. Stay the course. Fifty-four million, same. So it matched the nemesis, but it was a non-crit. So we need a. I need a fresh kill, so I can't waste it on this stupid lady. 49 million. Gonna run out of ammo here eventually. 40, 49 million again. So we ran out of attack 50 ammo. So we, we did reach 53, uh, almost 54 million, which is the same as uh, the Nemesis, but it was a non crit. So there's a potential that it actually is stronger than the Nemesis. And if that's the case, then we might want to look back at um, a tip of spear build and see if it uh, pans out to be more with the TAC-50. Gonna get some more special ammo. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Forty million right there at distance. On the helmet. That was armor, did you see that? It was armor at forty million. G36, nope. Back to business. Okay, start fresh. And we missed. <laughs> Bad start and fresh. There it is. Uh, 11 million on first. Okay. No crit. Missed. Got it. 13 million. I that's the one thing I hate about fighting those ladies is they waste your headshot damage, you know? Stacks. They know you're aiming at them, huh? You see how they go into these angles that you can't fucking get? Look at that. That's bullshit. He runs completely away. I mean, these ultra aggressive, I want to face thank you people are running away. Oh, that fucking sucks. doing this thing. Stop sending these stupid rushers. God, they're annoying. They're just annoying. 
We don't need to kill them. We got some sniping to do. Oh, that sideways running. Making me miss. There it is, finally. You can go on cold streaks as a sniper, by the way, and it sucks. <laughs> Oh, back of that cranium. Forehead right there. That felt good. Like with the Mantis, I actually tracked it like during the uh, reanimated event, how many consecutive headshot kills I get. I, I thought, I think it was somewhere like 53, 54 with no misses. One shot at the boss, 52 million. On the move too. That was a nice one. That was in the back. There we go. See, I mean, the reality is, is like I overcharge a lot uh, just to see the, that max number. There's a measured one. So, you know, you don't really need to overcharge. I mean, hold, hold down to your charge button, you know, your your trigger as much as you, you, I do. I'm just trying to get those max numbers. Oh, you like the playlist, man? Good. Good, good, good. I got a new one coming too, man. Um... Uh, for the hardcore banditos, a new uh, gaming music playlist. Actually, uh, hopefully, I have it done by tomorrow. That's the plan. Look out for that. Uh, you PvP people like this uh, Ranger Town on your uh, assault rifles, is what I hear, huh? Catch me out. What's up, Steven Johnson? Yeah, busy, busy, busy day. Yeah, we did uh, today, guys. By the way, like if you're not following me on Twitch, do that. There should be some Twitch. Uh, Links dropping in the chat feed along the way. Um, the uh, we did a uh, I got I finally got my Savage Wolverine assault rifle today. I went and just finished it. I've been kind of putting it off, and so I got the Savage Wolverine. I created a very special build for the Savage Wolverine. Uh, I will do a build video on it eventually, but yeah, so that's on Twitch right now, so you can watch it on the replay. Um, so follow me over on Twitch, guys. I'm uh, doing content over there, too, keeping it fresh. Um, so, you know, let's. I, what I want to try next now, actually, is taking off the four pieces and putting back on the Sawyer's knee pads. And now that's going to drop our weapon handling, grow our weapon damage. We'll lose the amp damage. So we want to see, basically, if we can break 54 million. So for those of you that have come in late, First of all, make sure you hit the like on this video and subscribe if you haven't. But also, uh, so what we've decided is this, okay? So uh, I, we showed some gameplay of the Nemesis and uh, we showed some gameplay of the Mantis. And for the Nemesis build, we got to basically like 59 million, give or take, right? Without the Achilles Pulse, no Achilles Pulse because I don't really like that. We got about 59 million. And so it was basically a three piece setup just like this. Now, we had headshot damage everywhere we could and so uh but then what we realized is like uh, so i whipped out my my mantis and i was able to do basically the same thing that the nemesis could so i can one tap basically name delete bosses right and so if you say that the nemesis i mean the mantis puts out an average of like 25 million then you basically can say that the uh, uh the nemesis that's putting out 59 million has give or take 25 million in surplus damage that you don't you don't even need because if, if you can kill the boss with 22, 24 million, what are you doing with that extra 25 million? What is that going to? Nowhere. It's going to nowhere, literally, right? And so, um, what we tried, so what we did is we backed out all that he extra headshot damage. We lowered it, right? And so now we're sitting at 286,000. Um, well, the gameplay you watched, we were a little bit different because we had a four piece aces. So we were at 296, or 286,000, I guess it was the same. 
because we have weapon handling. So 286,000, but we re-rolled all that extra headshot damage into weapon handling. So we're at 53% weapon handling. Now, my argument is like, you know, you don't really want armor on kill, but we could try that. We could even go there. Um, and you might need armor on kill with the Nemesis. I might retract my statement there because with the Mantis, you're so proficient. You got the, so much decoy that it, the decoy takes so much aggro for you. you hardly ever take any damage, right? But the Nemesis doesn't have the auto decoy thing. So maybe we do try putting on some damage, um, damage, uh, what do you call it? Armor on kill, you know? But let, we'll do that next. We'll do that next. We still need one more test, right? We need to put back on the Sawyer's knee pads and see how it performs with that, if, see if we can break 53 million, basically, is what we need to test now. So, we decided we had damage surplus, and so what did we do with that damage surplus? We re-rolled it into weapon handling to make us land more shots faster, basically, right? Uh, clear content faster and all of that. So that's so we reappropriated the, the extra headshot damage, the surplus headshot damage, and moved it around to weapon handling. So, you know, and so I hope I, get, I can convince you guys to think that way about your builds, right? You have diminishing returns on all of your builds. And I've been saying that for a long time about even my Mantis assault, uh, my Mantis sniper rifle build is that it's got surplus damage on it, right? Like you don't need that much damage. There's very few enemies that can take as much damage as that weapon is can dish out. And so... Um... The problem is, is that you don't normally need damage uh, uh, or armor on kill or heals because you just don't take enough damage. So it's just like an overpowered build. What do you do with it, right? Well, you just—I guess you could just stay overpowered <laughs> if you don't have any alternatives. But you know, repair skills is another way to run. But uh, you can also roll it like skill haste. Actually, it sounds crazy, but. If, if we're talking about the decoy and on the nemesis, that's actually kind of interesting. Actually, we just, I should have thought about that earlier, right? So the one thing that really, really, really makes the Mantis better than the nemesis, like hands down, if you want to know what's the better gun between the Mantis and the nemesis, it's the Mantis, hands down. There's no argument about that. And the reason why is because you have unlimited decoys with headshot kills right unlimited decoys and decoys are in my opinion the decoy is the best skill in the game for dps builds for weapon damage builds basically uh the decoy is and that better than anything better than the uh the reviver hive the restorer anything but it takes aggro for you right and so the mantis is, is the the reason why the mantis is better than the nemesis is because it gives you that decoy the best skill in the game for DPS builds at an unlimited level, right? And so what if we took off the weapon handling, we put in um, things like duration and skill haste, right? Wow, think about that. Now we've, we've basically added unlimited decoys to the nemesis. That's what we're gonna try next. That would be more important than running um, armor and kill because you're just not taking the decoy prevents damage right so that's what we're going to do after this so right now the test uh at the moment is to see if we can reach 53 million with the sawyer's knee pads without moving of course I just lost it 47 million i lost it that was not a headshot so we got to start over it's that those sideways guys are hard to get when they're running sideways by the way you gotta lead him by there we go 13 million got him on that head Ooh, missed that 12 million 21 million 38 million we're gonna get flanked Forty-seven million. Oh, God, these ladies again. Just leave us alone. That shit crazy weevil. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was no good.
Again, unlimited decoys would save us in this situation, by the way. What? I landed that. The bullet didn't release. Sometimes the bullet doesn't release on the Nemesis, by the way. Like, you hold on the trigger and you let go and nothing happens. It's rare. It doesn't happen all the time. It's like one out of one out of 20. But it does happen. Right there, it happened again. So that was technically two out of 10. Should have called for backup, huh? Huh. Because those, those NPCs act as decoys, so. 40 million body shot. Here comes these weirdos again. Yeah, so I like that decoy idea. I think that'd be a fun, fun thing to do. You know, like more skill haste, more skill duration. Get that decoy to be out more. It's like it's shooting, nothing's happening. It's like I'm hitting glass. See that? Oh, the bullet landed that one. But it, it's like it thinks there's a window. Do you see that, that uh, reflection? Like, it's acting like there's a window in front of me. And it's just sounding like a window, too. You hear the glass breaking. So we really need a decoy out there. A lot of med kits. A lot of armor kits. It's really annoying. Have you guys ever seen hyenas fight each other? Ooh, almost one tapped that boss. On the, uh, without stacks. It's a problem, we don't have any armor kits. There you go. 12 million right there, got that headshot kill. You know, we might have um, we might have diminishing returns on the weapon handling too. I'm not feeling like a big lift, a little bit. But I don't feel like it's like helping me a ton. That should have killed him. Oh, this bullet is not releasing. Gotta stay out of cover. This is a pain. This is a painful, painful one right now without these things. Mike, Mike, Montel, what's going on, brother? Sup, sup. Welcome to the late night stream. Got him. You see that? Those guys back there just fucking with that turret. How did that miss? Look at him standing in perfect line with that. That window frame. See, it's like acting like it's hitting glass. There we go, got him there. Annoying. I just gotta get rid of these weirdos real quick. We gotta be careful because we don't have any armor, so. But. So we gotta get him to move, not us. Of course he's gonna hide. 
Now he hides. I mean, the the flashbang grenades are actually pretty good in this game. Those blinder grenades. Okay, let's grab our gear. I'm gonna. I actually want to try. Uh, that skill hasting. I think that's a good idea. Let's turn the nemesis into the mantis by adding skill haste instead of weapon handling. See if we're getting good gear out of this, anyways. Again, we're looking for that carbine. All right, uh, gonna reset control points, head on over to the White House, and then we're gonna see how fast we can get that uh, that deal to come up. That that decoy. The TAC-50 Ice Yamamoto, don't you like the way it feels better than a Nemesis? I actually like the weight of it. Yeah, Wicked Witches in their wands. Yeah, cats. <laughs> That's better than what I said. Doctor, uh, I can even, I can show you even better. So Doctor says Nemesis will kill a purple on the first shot and gold on the second shot. Show me a Mantis doing that. I can one up that man for sure. We're killing golds on the first shot. So adjust your build a little bit. Um, this build, even with weapon handling, is killing golds on the first shot. So without headhunter proc, no headhunter. We're we're uh, one shotting elites. So and the nemesis, the mantis can do that too, just not as consistently. Uh, it's only like certain elites, right? Um, but once Mantis, but once Headhunter kicks in, um, the Nemesis, I mean, once Headhunter kicks in, it doesn't even matter. Mantis, Nemesis, they're all the same. You have a surplus of damage, it doesn't even matter. Um, and that's the idea is to chain kill, to chain kill, um, enemies, right? With headshots. And so if you're not doing that, then... You don't want to run Headhunter, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but the Mantis, I just clear content faster, kill better with it. But I'm having fun with the Nemesis. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just uh, I do like the the Mantis better. It is a more efficient killing machine. I, the Nemesis is just the Nemesis. The, that is the one advantage though. The one advantage that the Nemesis has over the Mantis is that you can one shot an elite. Uh, from the get-go without Hunter. That is an advantage. Uh, more consistently, you can get that one shot. Um, but beyond that, the Mantis has more advantages, you know, with the unlimited decoy. But but again, if we think about it differently, like we're saying, like if we're saying that, we're saying that, well, the Mantis is topping out at like, you know, around 25, 29 million, right? And then the Nemesis is topping out at about, you know, 60 million, let's just round up. Then... We got 25,000 uh, to 30,000 surplus, uh, 30 million, I'm sorry, 25 to 30 million surplus damage. Shit, let's do so, let's make that work for us, right? So well, first, let's first let's use our mods. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my mods. And I'm gonna pull those to skill here. So wait, let's look at our decoy right now. So our decoy's uh, uh, cooldown is 22 seconds. Not worried about the duration. The idea is to, to make it just like the Mantis. So. We need to pull that cooldown, um, basically, so that as low as possible. The, the the it's not it's never gonna be just like the mantis because the mantis has basically a, uh, a it's like running two decoys almost because it's got a decoy on the ready, right? So as soon as you there's it's got literally a zero cooldown, so where this is not gonna we're not gonna get that. So, but we can get um, a fast, a fast run. Oops, I just used the wrong skill haste. Why is it? Give me skill haste. Let's see, no. Yeah. 
So let's see where we are now. So we can put up 30% skill haste. So we got it down to 76. So we only lost five seconds. So we need to pull off more. So um, I'm going to put back on the four piece aces. So that gives me more slots to play with. And then I'm going to uh, move that weapon handling now to headshot damage. So we're dropping a lot of headshot damage, right? To do this. So we're gonna have to run a quick test to see where we're gonna top out at here. So let's just stop at two and see where we land. So 14.7 seconds, eek. Uh, let's do the holster. But it takes a lot to move that needle, right? 13.7 seconds. Let's just to keep it there. We, I mean, I, there is a point where we can overdo it, I guess. You know, in a sense, we're not we're not going to get. We know we're not going to get it to zero. So 13 seconds might be good enough. Uh, let's. So I'm going to see where we're going to where we're going to top out here at damage before we go in the field. Make sure that's not. So let's keep it on elite and then let's see if we can uh, one shot that elite without any procs like we were doing before. And we can, 12 million. Okay, so let's do it again. The damage numbers go by fast, so it's hard to catch that number. 43 million right there. Okay, so now, now we're peaked out. Let's see if we can get to 54 million, close to it. It's 50 something. Not sure what it was, but it's 50 something. 56 <laughs> that's crazy guys think about that i mean think about it we've got rid of uh, a lot more headshot damage we're still there 52 million right there all right let's do it let's go do it you know what i mean so i mean look at all the yellows on this build so we're at 4.2 oh we got the we got the extreme cooldowns happening down here but uh so we need to go back in the field to see what our true cooldown is. But I think we were at 13 seconds, right? So let's see if that's enough. If not, then we might have to pull in. I mean, we, I think we still got surplus. I think we pull off. Well, I don't want to get rid of all my weapon handling, though. I like kind of having some of that weapon handling. So let's leave, let's leave it where we're at. I don't want to get too aggressive with it because I like my weapon handling. We need some weapon handling, I guess, is my point. I mean, there is... I guess the argument to pull off one of these, one more weapon handlings and move that to skill haste. But, you know, for a fraction of a second, I'm not sure it's worth it. 13.7 seconds, seconds is good. Let's uh, try a different enemy type, huh? Uh, let's try some true sons. Let's try some true sons. Good night, cats, meow. You think I'm gonna um, lose damage more than I have now? I don't know. We're at 54 million. <laughs> not sure we we didn't. I mean, we lost a little bit of damage, like, uh, but not not enough that I care. Remember, the strongest that we pulled on the mantis. Uh, with an aces build it was 59 million basically um, and so right now we're uh, we saw it at about 54 million maybe 56 maybe but definitely 54 million so you know what I mean and again you're killing named bosses at 22 million so what else are we gonna do with that 54 million and so I mean again Sure, like, I guess if we were trying to one-shot aggro, then we're going to miss that, right? I get that. But we're talking about everyday sniper builds, not specialty sniper builds. So I, I don't miss any damage. I'm not missing any damage right now. So one-tapping uh, elite. Let's see. There it is. So we did it. So that's the first test. Can you one-tap elites? And that was a grunt, too. So he's not a lightweight. $23 million. So let's see if we can, again, uh, we need to at least break 46. 
In the testing range, testing range we saw 50 something, so we need to. Damn it, I missed it. Yeah, maybe we're getting in trouble. Oh, let me call up my homies. We need our uh, we are our digital decoys. So we got an elite patrol on our left, so we gotta watch these guys. I got a good shot on him. Shit. Bad shot. I don't have a shot and angle on anybody. You have to displace. I'm gonna leave the gates just for a little a few seconds because I wanna take out this elite patrol real fast. Cause they got that chunga. So the best way to take out the chug is to take out his friends, right? There's one. Two. Now we got the decoy, so let's use our decoy. So that decoy came out pretty good. So now let's take out this this chunga. Probably blow it out of his backpack. We can get that. Broke his armor after that first shot to the chest. What if I should have gone to the head instead? I'm not used to using the nemesis on the Chunga. Would it have been smarter to go for his head? Would it have broke his helmet? Decoy's back. I gotta remember that. The decoy's coming back. That's a heavy back there. So we probably broke his helmet on that first shot. Let's see if we can do more. Kill him with the second shot. Nope. So maybe we didn't break his helmet? I can tell, he's too far away. He's about as heavy as it gets, that guy, right? Outside of a chunga? Oh, we got a fog, all right. Let's disappear in a mist. <laughs> Here's a pretty good angle. Again, the Nemesis works better in the fog than the. I mean, the Mantis works better in the fog because that highlights the heads, right? But we're just gonna have to make do. I mean, literally, we're blind. Switching guns. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See that? See that? These people are not in the ring. Hey, ready to go? Fights over here, people. Switching back to Nemesis. Oh man, I wish you could run double exotics. That'd be cool, huh? Jesus, come on guys. Come back to the party. I might as well shoot this turret while we're just sitting here. Make us chase them down. Not exactly what we want to do with the sniper build. in my way. I'm kind of estimating my shots, but it works. Yeah, I mean, but it kind of serves its purpose, so it might not need a rework. I mean, it's kind of good. It does what it does. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, if you just look at it like it's a specialty weapon, and, you know, 
The Mantis is the everyday workhorse, and then your uh, Nemesis is your specialty weapon. You know, it takes care of uh, bosses and, and raid things and, you know. Got the boss. Got the homie. So yeah, we're still able to do everything we need to do with this build. Oh. I'm not using my decoy as much as I should though. Twenty-three million point blank. Okay, now we're in a good sniping position. Beady little head, something. But I just can't. Oh, am I just not realizing you can zoom? I haven't been doing that. Oh my god, I totally didn't do. I've been doing that. Oh, I'm such a noob with the scun. <laughs> you can zoom. Oh, it's so funny. I haven't been doing that. I mean, you don't need to do it a lot, but there's some of those long shots that could have done that. You know what I mean? Like I hadn't been zooming. I, I mean, I, from now now that I'm doing it, I remember that's a factor. But like this whole time, I forgot you could do that. I need to get this guy way out there. Damn it! Oh, it's so annoying that he's over there. Oh my god, just stay still. Come on, man. Come to the fight. What are you doing, you freak? There it is. <laughs> These guys love to fight, and then, like, when they get the chance, they don't want to do it. Gotta land your shots. Decoy out. Thirty thirty one million almost. Forty million right there. I think it hit his hand though. Six million, so definitely doubling damage there. Twenty-eight million. All right, we're climbing. Come on, we need to peek out. We haven't peeked out yet. Forty million. Oh, how did that miss? Funny that they know that you're target you're tracking them. You can tell by the way they move. They're like, oh there's a scope on my back, I can feel it. Come on, dude. Oh, I clipped him. 
I need to get these shots out faster, man. There's like an ice ages over here. It's a 22 million. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm like scoping in a lot. There it is, 20, 21 million. Okay, so let's land these. Let's land these shots. Got it, 23 million. One shot at the boss, 39 million. On the move too, 32 million. So you just need a little pep talk to yourself, you know what I'm saying? There it is, 42 million. That was to the chest though. So, I, yeah, so we didn't we didn't get the peak. We didn't peek out because that last shot is I, I hit him in the chest. Um, we would wonder what it would have been if I got him on the head, I guess. The guy dropped below. Really annoying. Oh, come on. The purple guy's gonna kill us because we take too long to shoot. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's, that's, those are the moments where I miss my mantis right there. I gotta say. But this is good. I'm actually having fun. Yeah, I'm actually having fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm having fun with the nemesis. I am. But just, you know, the, ne the mantis is just faster. You kill faster. You just get a lot more shots out faster, right? It's got a faster reload, too. And I think a larger mag, right? So I think there's also less reloading. But it is cool to be able to, uh, you know, one tap those uh, elites on the first bullet. Yeah, so the this has got five, yeah, versus seven, and that does make a difference. It does make a difference. And then you, and you can spend more time out of cover with the, the Mantis, you know? So I mean, you know, I'm still gonna call, you know, for me, the Mantis is still a better gun for me, but I am liking the Nemesis better than I ever have before, to be honest with you. Um, and that's simply just because I'm getting used to it. You know what I mean? Um, and it does have a zoom feature, uh, which is also nice for those really long shots and the Mantis doesn't have that. So there's something else also. Gotta keep that in the consideration pool. Did they, they decrease the range on it too? That's sad. I mean, for a weapon that's not used that much, I don't think they should be nerfing it. I mean, imagine if you can run the Mantis, the, the Nemesis, and the Regulus all on the same build without having this, you know. Swap weapons. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, it'd be like the perfect headhunter build for sure. Just accounting for all. I mean, just imagine, you know, when you're getting rushed and you have that head, those headhunter stacks and you could pull in with your, um, your regulus, you know what I mean? And just pop somebody in and blow them all up. It's like, oh. I do really like, the, yeah, Eclipse. Yeah, good good call. I really like the, the White Death. Actually, I really do. It's been a while since I've used it. The one advantage the White Death has, okay, in my opinion, besides you could mod it, is that it's got um, so much extra headshot damage that you can run it without a scope. You can no scope it. And so that's the way I, I actually like to run my... My White Death is with no scope because you can. Uh, it's got the extra headshot damage allow you to do that. It's not overpowered or anything like that either. It's just right, you know? It does the job it's intended to do. What? I missed that? There we go. One shot in elites. That is an advantage. Um... Granted, I think we'll have to take out our nemesis, I mean our mantis, and see if it's doing the same. To be fair. Now, of course it does, once you proc headhunter, no doubt anything will. 
I mean, shotguns do. Right? Shotguns one shot, I believe. With the headhunter. 41 million right there. Ooh, we must have clipped him. It is nice having that uh, decoy more frequent, that it's going to help in more intense situations. 22 million. 30 million. Alright, come on, let's land this. 50 million. There it is, ladies and gents. Now, I don't think that was a crit, though. You know what I mean? So I think we could still do better. Let's see if we can land this next one. Ah, getting heat on this now. Need my decoy. Come on. Got a decoy is valuable. Fifty four twenty six, no crit. Forty three crit. A lot of heat on this. Fifty four, no crit. We got a big backpack. Yeah, we lost it. We land on that backpack. Those big backpacks are a pain. Throw you off. Come on, jitterbutt. Quit jittering. Jesus Christ. Perfect. He landed in the perfect place where I couldn't get his head. 17 million. Great. We're restacking. This one is going to be a fun mission to snipe on because uh, when we get to the plane, it'll be at a higher elevation. I like playing in the fog, a little bit of fog too. Makes you a little harder to detect. Damn, I can't see this guy. There we go. Zoom in. Apparently. That's cool that you can zoom. That is cool. Remember, it reminds me of back in my old Battlefield days. I used to play Battlefield 4. Pretty good at that game. I'd play Overwatch role and just snipe from super far away. Arc, you know, the whole arcing the bullet thing. Shooting from mountain to mountain. You totally arc your bullet, you know what I mean? Give me that head. There it is. Oh, she ducked. Give this guy's head. 34 million. All right. I need this head. Damn, she's all over the place. This up hold. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, she's a pain in the ass. If you take too long, you're gonna lose all your stacks. I mean, look at her. She's a fucking monkey. Now I'm in a fucking cold streak. God damn it. Oh, I swear those are should be hitting. There it is. Oh my god, she put me on a cold streak for sure, though. Twenty million, almost twenty-one. Put that boss in the head. He's gonna hide forever. Yep, he's gonna wait for my talent to expire. Game's no dummy. Clipped him. Shit. He's too far away. I can't see him in the fog. What a waste of time.
Okay, let's go to our church. Million. Oh, that didn't kill him? Fuck. Twelve million. Oh, the bullet didn't release again. Yeah, fucking monkey. 29 million. 50 million, 105. That's good. So this, we've seen 50, uh, over 50 two times, but they're not critting, so that's the problem with the, uh, counting that as a final number. I bet you if we crit on that, that we're going to pull over 54 million. Fifty-two, three forty. 340. I bet you that's top right there. 52, 340. Fifty four fifty million four hundred. Forty million. That was a body shot though. Speaking of body shots, <laughs> I could use one of those right now. Got that, landed that. That was a nice one. Let me go. 28 million. The fog is actually making it harder for me, you know. Because I can't see their heads. 48 million right there. 50, 50 million, 426. Alright, let's see what we can do with this guy. Busted his helmet on the first shot. Yep. The second shot damages his armor. Oh, of course, he's not in my blind spot. Jesus. Come on, dude. There it is. Three shots. Three shots to take the tankiest guy out ever, right? That's about as tanky as they get. He's the boss and a heavy gunner. Three shots. If they got a helmet, you're basically screwed. Has anybody one shot in while well, anybody with a helmet? Like, I can't even get, like, it doesn't matter if they're purple or anything like that. Those helmets are ballistic proof, basically. That's actually an interesting knee pad. Let's see if I can make room for those. Get rid of this hardwired crap. Not a fan of hardwired. So 53 million is the top out, and we, uh, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. I mean, pretty amazing. You know, to think about like the the difference between the strongest mantis build, I'm uh, the strongest nemesis build, and basically the le the weakest nemesis build is four million, but both of them go or i guess it's more like five six million but both of them go over 50 million right look at all the yellows we have on here look at all the yellows you know look at all the yellows i mean we could get rid of more yellows the problem is i'd be getting rid of weapon handling and i don't want to drop my weapon handling anymore i mean i'd be interested in getting rid of more headshot damage but i don't think i can yeah i don't think i can um you know what we can do though? We can get rid of vigilance. That's twenty-five percent weapon damage drop. Does that make sense? Do you think we can still one-shot elites if we get rid of vigilance? You think that's still possible? Because if so, that makes it interesting. You know, we we can put uh, instead is calculated, right? Kills from cover decrease um, uh, skill uh, cooldowns. Fuck, that's worth a shot, right? 
resetting. You see what I'm saying? It's like worth a shot. I mean, every kill you get, it's not it's not going to be just like uh, the Mantis, right? Why can't we go prone? For sure, good call. I mean, they can go prone. Their snipers go prone. Their heavy machine gunners go prone. This is gonna be an interesting test for me, I think. If we get rid of Vigilance and then like, how much does that level things off, right? I mean, we still got a lot of room if you think about it. We're still hitting that 53 million, right? Still hitting that 53 million and we got rid of so much headshot damage. We're at 256 now. We started at 300 and something, right? That's really interesting. So, I'm gonna get rid of the backpack. This is crazy, guys. I'm getting rid of Vigilance. Like, I always run Vigilance on my sniper build, so. But now we're gonna look at Calculated, right? So we got, um, and death, concussion, composure, companion, and stop force opportunities. Uh, calculated. Here it is. Kills from cover reduce skill cooldowns by 10%. So it's not the perfect calculated, right? But we don't want that. Perfect calculated, I think, reduces it by 15%. So basically, we're going to be taking every kill is going to take off 1.3 seconds. So, uh, Yeah. Um, trying to think which territory run run. I, I think I'd rather go back up here to Hyena Land because assault rifles are better than that hardware crap. Is calculated going to be inconsistent? Oh. Yeah, concussion would be good, no doubt. All right, this will be interesting. So, because we can still, you know, with that we can, uh, since we we got calculated. You know, we'll see how it feels, but we might want to put back uh, some of those yellows into reds now. Because now our cooldowns are based on kills. So as long as we're killing, we're clearing that, that skill haste. But I don't know. We might want both. We'll see how this plays out. get flyer by the flare here I want to get that flare out as soon as possible because it's really annoying to have them sending those crazy ladies at us okay so let's see if we can one shot one this is the first test nope we lost it with vigilance so vigilance lost that I uh, lost that ability to one-shot them. So that's not going to work. I think that's that's one of the only things that's kind of makes the Nemesis even worth it. Then, like, so if you get to this, then you might as well run the Mantis. And just get your beautiful little... I'm busy.
Also, calculator might not work too because um, when the skill's deployed, we can't uh, minimize its, its skill haste, its cooldowns, right? Got to wait until the uh, it's blown up or whatever. It's expired. So yeah, we lose the benefit of, yeah, so this isn't gonna make sense. We lose the benefit of calculator when this when the skill's deployed. Oh yeah, we're not we're not one tapping guys anymore. Vigilance is, is crazy how well, I guess we dropped a lot. We dropped vigilance and we dropped all of our headshot damage. Okay, headed back to White House this isn't gonna work. I do want to try. I want to go to. The, I'm gonna go the extreme opposite now. I think I'm gonna go all the way to the top headshot damage. I need to do the 346 headshot damage. Tippity top. For on four piece aces, uh, so or three piece aces with punch drunk. I think is what that is. And then I mark that new damage number. We need to mark the, the highest damage number we can. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, but it's interesting. So you can, I, I think though, out of all of them, I think the one that I truly like is probably, you know, having a good amount of weapon handling. You know, because you got so much spec into damage, like you might as well, to get the most out of all of that damage, you might as well land your shots more, you know? And I might have had still too much weapon handling, but I don't know. Um, so punch truck. The question is, so I got this one with, yeah, it's got to be that one. Okay. Because you can't have double headshot damage. So on that. Um, so let's see. Let's make sure we are going to be right. So 286, right? It says 286 right there. And headshot damage. And then I can bring in 10% um, more there. So 10, 20, and then 30, 40, 50. So I can bring a 50% more headshot damage on 286. So that's going to be 236. So let's go back to that. So let's change this back back up, back to Vigilance. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have this thing God rolled, right? This need that's the knee pads that are throwing me off from that top number. So there we go, 336. There it is, ladies and gents. 336 headshot damage, that's a ton. I think if you go the white death, you can get more though, right? Because this is, uh, what is the weapon bringing us? Let's see here, 45% headshot damage on the scope. Which is a lot actually. 140, 156 because of this. So yeah, so that is a lot. But the nemesis is still gonna go. I mean, the um, white death will still go beyond that. So, is there a way? I'm wondering, like, so this is, gives us 20, 30 um, headshot damage. And then I guess if we went the, the chill out mask, it would basically do the same, right? 10, 20, 30. So the chill out mask doesn't add any more than the punch drunk. So let's just see what that gives us. 
I think the only other way to get more headshot damage is I think you go improvise. I think improvise will give us more. Maybe. You you get 20% more per improvised piece. So that's 20 for the gloves, 20 for the knees, and then 20 for the holster. I don't know. I'd have to actually do it. Might be smarter to do that anyways, actually, because then you can have more weapon handling. So I'm just gonna uh, try to get this peak number real quick, and the range will be faster. Okay. Fifty, fifty thousand, fifty million. 400 right there. 40 something. 40 something. Nope. 40 something. So I, if 50 is the highest, then it means that we're better off. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that number. Um, it goes too fast. You know what I mean? The number really lands too fast. But I, I have a feeling that it's not as high as uh, if we were running four pieces aces. I think we're better off four pieces aces. 50 something. It's, it's, it goes too fast. I can't see it. <laughs> it's the crit though. It's the crit number, whatever it is. I don't know why they don't let it show up on the marker. 51, is that what that says? Anybody catching that? Oh, I see, yeah, you gotta get your shade watch. How, what, what, watch what's your uh, shade level? Yeah, that's definitely gonna count for some differences for sure. As I say, like first thing is 51. Okay, I caught it there, 51. 51 on crit so it so okay here's the, the conclusion so you're better off so we got 336,000 headshot damage so 336 uh, uh, I'm sorry 336 percent headshot damage equals 51 million that's a big drop so we were better off with uh, running aces and eights uh, four pieces aces and eights so let me let me switch over to that. Uh, let me re-roll this skill haste off. I think I need to add some watches. Thanks, Kelly, for catching that. Oh, I saw Mother, you're not too far away, man. You gotta grind. The events will help you. The events will help you. Yeah, once you get to a thousand, then you're good, right? You're just you caught up to everybody, whatever it is. You know, it doesn't matter if you have five thousand like me or twenty thousand like somebody else. Once you get to a thousand, you're golden. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, I I don't have the a pause button on that. I've been meaning to work out like an instant replay capability on this, but it takes a little programming. I got I got to figure out. Not super hard, but you just got download plugins and stuff like that. Okay, so here we go. Now we got the four piece aces. So we dropped four piece aces gives us 326,000. So we only lose 10% 10, 10 headshot damage, but what we gain instead is 30% amp damage, right? So you can see why this makes sense to run four piece aces and not punch drunk. Plus, it's a little bit of fun to have the cards. It's kind of fun. I actually have avoided four piece aces for a long time. Okay, we gotta try to catch these numbers though, so that's the hard part. 50 something on non crit. 50 something right there. That was it. I think that said 59. Can you catch that, Kelly? That last one? Sorry. I think that last one was 59. It just goes so fast. I wish I was on PC so I could have that little menu that shows you your damage numbers on the bottom left.
I mean, I can catch this on the replay, like I can do the same thing that you're doing when I'm replaying, but when I'm in live format, I can't. Fifty-three right there on a non-crit, so we're definitely clearing fifty-three. So it's either gonna be fifty-six or fifty-nine, is my guess. I think it should be fifty-nine. We need a crit. Ah, oh, that was fifty something. It wasn't a crit though. It needs to be a crit. Fifty-five crit right there. 55 uh, million. So that might be topped out. You know, these little uh, paper things are, are actually sensitive. If you don't hit them right in the center, it'll change their number. 55 million again. So that might be our top number with this. 55. Okay, so we got uh, so caught three or four 55s. Is it my vision that's getting better? 55 again. Okay, now we got aces. Let's, let's see where we are now. 53, I think that was. 55, thanks Kelly, I appreciate the help. So I think I think we're gonna have to call it at 55. Close enough. Oh wait, we got another aces. See, we need that aces line up to be on a uh, crit though, right? So that's the thing, the aces is kind of situational. You need the aces amped over, it's 55 right there, okay. So we got a crit right here to make the most out of that. And it doesn't. Fifty-three right there. Okay, let's see if we can crit right here. Oh. Nope. It's gonna take forever to get that final number this way. I mean we could just settle on fifty-five. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. Okay, so if we crit here though, yeah, no, nope. that's 55 again, non crit. Okay, we're looking for a crit right here. 53 million non crit. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna call it 55. So let's just uh, now let's put on the Sawyer's knee pads and see if we can get up beyond that 55. One non crit. That was too fast. I didn't catch it. Fifty was that fifty eight? Oh man, those numbers are fast. Sixty. That was sixty. Stories are stronger at sixty million. Has to be accredited at 60 million. And we're not technically not God rolled. Sixty million again. Yep, so uh Sawyer's night pads are stronger than that's crazy to think about though, right? The Sawyer's knee pads are stronger than 30% amp damage. <laughs> I don't know how that works out. I don't know how that works out at all. Maybe just because we're not critting. Yeah, that's 60 million again right there. 60 million. So we've caught in four 60 millions on crit. Maybe it's just because we're not getting the aces to crit. You know, to get the, the amp damage on crit. We're getting it on non-crits. Just because it's really hard to get the crits lined up. Yeah, with Sawyer's knee pads, it can top out. So the difference is, you know, it's just good to know, uh, mostly because, um, I mean, we not that we need all of that extra damage, but again, Sawyer's knee pads, is, 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 it's, I guess it's telling you that it's safe to run Sawyer's, you know? It's safe to run Sawyer's, that you can still get that peak damage, but why not have the, um, 
the whole stagger stand your ground and an armor core while you're at it right i mean how horrible is it that some dev decided to put health on this thing though right what a bad decision that was who wants health what a waste that's a wasted slot <laughs> stupid <laughs> really stupid to have health there i mean who thought like you know what we need is an exotic with health on it like who thought that <laughs> Cool guys, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna call it right now. I think um, I'm gonna leave it here, but for what I'm gonna do is, um, I probably like for the recommended build, I would say to uh, roll, to, to get rid of some of the headshot damage and to um, put on weapon handling. But, um, I mean, I'm thinking, but you know, just for the sake, for like practicality, again, this isn't for like special raid builds or if you want to one shot aggro, even though you probably technically could as long as you had your headhunter stacks, but I think this is doing the job, but thanks all y'all for helping out, man. We got another one. We got a couple of good builds today. So, um, you know, the nemesis, nothing special, but I think we did some very worthy testing. So, uh, and hopefully I got you guys to think about your Nemesis builds a little bit differently, which is just think about it like the Nemesis gives you a special circumstance damage when you need to take out somebody really heavy. Uh, definitely the bonus, I would say the number one reason that I would run the Nemesis is like either for special circumstances, which uh, I'd actually prefer the Regulus in those special circumstances, but either way, uh, special circumstances or because you can one shot elites right out of the gate. That's a big bonus. That's a big bonus. I think that's the, the what really makes it special. And then from there, um, I think it's, uh, consider all of your damage surplus and then you, you can make decisions on what to do with that surplus. And I'm, my, my recommendation is gonna ultimately be, I think weapon handling. Um, just roll weapon handling and then try to make do with your decoy where it's at but i think the weapon handling having that added weapon handling is a big bonus and so from here i think so we're at 316 percent headshot damage but i i'm going to recommend we bring that down uh by at least 30 percent you know roll these three headshot damage maybe 20 percent actually we got down you know into 286 and we were still one shot in bosses as long as we have vigilance, right? As long as we have vigilance, we, I mean, we were one-shotting right out of the gate on elites. And so as long as we have vigilance, but if we got rid of vigilance, we found out that we lost the capability to do that. So what I'm gonna say is probably at least drop, add 20% more uh, weapon handling. So where, where are we at with our weapon handling right now? I have 21%, so, so at least 16% uh, is what I would say. So at least two more weapon handling. That would bring us to 37%. That's probably good. Because I think, um, like I was saying, like for anything over that, I think it was a little bit of uh, diminishing returns. I did have it at like 53% weapon handling and it was we're working good. I wasn't complaining about it, but it was a little hard to. Yeah, that's a good point. Regen would be nice too. Has pro. Yeah, you could go all those routes. I think they would all be good. Oh, you're talking about the knee pads? Probably too. <laughs> yeah, instead of health, I would totally prefer to have some regen here. But house pro would be nice as well. But regen, I guess you could say, I uh, go down to here. Instead of weapon handle, if you don't want to go weapon handle, a little bit of regen wouldn't hurt you here either, since you have an armor core. <coughs> and technically, you can put the memento on this too if you're good with collecting your trophies, right? Because once you get all your memento trophies, it's like having vigilance. Technically, even more than Vigilance. You can have 30% um, weapon damage instead of 25% from Vigilance. So you just got to work up to that, of course. But at least you got all these other stuff going on, too. So there's that. Uh, all that I say, you got... Ice, uh, are, you, are you wanting the Walker chest? Are you wanting the Chain Killer chest?
<laughs> Eclipse, who uses health? <laughs> you should run an all health build in the DZ, bro. <laughs> See what you could do. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I'm gonna have to clean out my stash again. Let's open up. I'm gonna open up these proficiency caches while I while I'm here. See, oh, there's a carbon seven. Did we get the carbon seven? Is it was it hiding in our proficiency stashes the whole time? Where'd it go? My backpack probably. Haha! <laughs> they gave it to overflowing again. You guys are right. But at least it's got the right stats on this one. But it kind of be expensive to. It's expensive to optimize these. You know, these so many resources. I'll hold on to it for a moment. Because I might not get anything better than that. But that is the one we're looking for. It really does only come with overflow. That's weird. They treat it like it's a named weapon. Right? It's just an assault rifle. That's all it is. I never realized that's the only thing it ever comes with. Is perfect over or overflow. But I've gotten four today. And they all had overflow. So I didn't realize... But none of them had damage to targets out of cover. We needed that. So I can change the talent. Uh, so let's see here. Anything good? MP7 with Optimus. Quick damage. That's kind of good, actually. Optimus works on a, on a high RPM weapon. PDR. Should probably delete it. Though. I don't have room in my stash to keep it. And a Providence Backpack Opportunistic. No. So, well, at least we got the carbine we're looking for. Hopefully I get one better because it looks expensive to re-roll, right? So here's a God one run with overflowing though. And then there's this one. Urgh. Wow. So yeah, Savage Wolverine also, guys, if you didn't catch my, uh... yo, what's up, Blue Rosebuds? You're catching us on the tail end, man. Good to see you, though. Um, so yeah, Savage Wolverine build, I created that, guys. It's actually really unique. I don't think anybody's created a Savage Wolverine build like the one I created. Um, you really got to look at that weapon, you know? Savage Wolverine's interesting, so... You know, it's actually kind of difficult to build around. So it's because it's perfectly close and personal, which is sort of a talent that's almost better suited for uh, SMGs or shotguns, right? Now, it's, so you get 38% weapon damage for 10 seconds. If you get a kill within seven meters, that's really close, right? The problem is, now it's not a good example. So the problem is I'm because I'm running my, my Aces build, it's got weapon handling on it, but the default uh, reload time on this thing is 2.4 seconds. So, and you're missing a mod slot, okay? So you gotta account for that reload. You can't go run and gun and face tank enemies because that's what you're doing within seven meters is that you gotta running gun face tank you got to play the gun like an smg but one of the things smgs have are fast reload times so that 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 the difference between 1.9 and 2.5 seconds 2.4 seconds is a, a lot of time and you notice it during gameplay you're like oh my god hurry up and reload hurry up and reload hurry up and reload and you got three enemies standing in front of you right so you got to account for that and your build has to account for that right so we created a really cool fast paced run and gun out of cover savage wolverine build this uh this morning on twitch so definitely check it out over on twitch i think you'll really like it but uh I made really good use of this gun and i just got the gun myself i just got it today i've been sitting on that project for a long time and i just finally got it done but yeah no i found that out uh eclipse Today, I never realized that this whole time that that gun only comes with that talent. That's just so weird. I never realized that. I've had good carbines before, and I felt like, you know, back in the day, like they must have dropped with, with some other talent, but I never paid attention, but that they only come with overflowing, which is just weird, right? 
Why would they do that? It's not perfect overflowing. They treat it like a named a named rifle, a named assault rifle, but it's not. Why would they only give us that one talent? That seems, I don't know, that's why. Can anybody tell me why? Anybody know a why? Anybody have a why there? Why isn't perfect overflowing? If they're gonna only give us overflowing. Obviously we can re-roll that, right? We can re-roll it. Because the one that I used to have was a, an in sync version, I think. Uh, I used to have a really good in sync run and I had to delete it. But um, that was a lot of fun. Running it with in sync and spotter. Uh, Cause uh, I would rather that you could, it'll take the spotter mod. It's laser uh, pointer. So uh, that I used to run it with a hybrid skill build. That's the build that I used to run this with, but. So yeah, when I get a good one, maybe that, maybe I have, maybe I'll have to use one of these, but we'll put it to the, uh, the three piece striker build that we ran today and see if, um, you know how well it does and what that crit number is but i need it to be i need this to be basically god rolled with measured on it in order to make that happen but i like the rpms they're looking good you know they're looking good it should feel pretty damn good i mean 105 at 909 and then the police of four is 101 at 978 Ooh, i don't know i mean it is missing weapon damage but the police of four is a faster and basically the same weapon damage let me see what uh what's our handling look like yeah the police of force got better handling too yeah i don't know why do you guys like the carbine better than the police m4 the police m4 has got better stats better accuracy better handling slower reload though police m4 has got a slower reload carbine 7 has got a faster reload uh, but the police on four is faster and the carbine just got a slight advantage in damage. I don't know if it's enough to make it worth it though. Mm. The difference there is in the RPMs. So you get a little bit more damage and less RPM. They're basically the same, you know, they are basically the same. Uh, just minor trade-offs. This is minor trade-offs. It just comes down to preference. Do you want that little bit of RPM or do you want that little bit of damage? You know, basically interesting, really interesting. Yeah, the burnout from Moss is nice. Yeah, we ran that in the test yesterday too. It's a good one. It's a good one to run with focus, talent. But cool, yo. All right, guys, I'll catch you probably tomorrow night. Uh, if not on Monday. So uh, for those of you in the hardcore banditos, look forward to the next music playlist that should be dropping tomorrow. Peace out, yo. Appreciate appreciate your help, everybody. Thanks, Eclipse. Thanks, Ice. Thanks, Blue Rosebuds. Catch you guys later. Peace. Cito out.